But I think you got development of full artificial intelligence, which will the end of the human race. It's a flying object, and we don't know what it is. I would hope somebody is checking it out. I'm glad the Pentagon is looking at this, because if it poses a threat, I want them on top. Well, the craft generates its own gravitational field. Yeah, you said there's light in the sky? The internet has become the command center for criminals and terrorists. That's what we're instructed to say. Roser, Area 51, alien kept deep under the ground. Guys, it is Monday night, and it is one of the nights we get together to talk about all the things we're not allowed to talk about. We're now doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific. What are the things we're not allowed to talk about? You know what they are. Aliens, conspiracy, the paranormal, the government, academia, the 24-hour news cycle, propaganda, And the general feeling that we live in the Upside Down. This show is live. If you are listening to us on the Fringe FM, hello, we're broadcasting on the Fringe FM. We are also streaming live on Facebook, DLive, and YouTube. Trying to read all the chat in all the places uh, and taking your phone calls tonight. As always, uh, like I've always said with this show, it's uh, transparency is an important part of not just this, probably everything, government and uh, all the rest of things, right? I mean, short of, uh, you know, private property rights and, uh, you know, the mind your own business type of situation. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, should be a lot more transparent than they are in this day and age because, of course, uh, transparency is it, it's uh, it. it, it Amplifies mistakes, right? Uh, if you if you uh, if you mess up, uh, everybody sees it, and it's super embarrassing, and that's why the world has basically turned into a huge PR nightmare. And so, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Like, if I screw up, I screw up. That's it. And you guys all saw it, and you all heard it, and that was it. And big deal, right? And we, God willing, we have tomorrow to try and screw up again. Or not, right? Uh, so point being, it's uh, if you mess up, it's not the end of the world. It just seems like... Every corporation out there and every single thing that's happening, the government, it seems like everybody, there's this illusion, right, that we're, we're supposed to not screw up, right? But come on, let's be real. Uh, you know, is anybody else human out there? 
anybody else just kind of screw up on, on the regular? Uh, it just it doesn't seem, make any sense to me. So as I go off on this tirade and this tangent, uh, it, it's uh, it, it's it's the opposite here. If I screw up, like I said, it, it is what it is, and you guys see it all live, and it's no big deal because uh, we'll just keep punching and keep trying to not screw up tomorrow. Uh, but as a result of that and transparency back to that, uh, we have a phone number up. We've always had a phone number. We're, all, we're taking your phone calls at this number right here. It is 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. You can also join the show at troubledminds.org by clicking the Discord link. It's right there on top of the website. You cannot miss it. Phone number is right there on top. If you ever need to find anything Troubled Minds wise, just go to the website, troubledminds.org. The podcast is up there. Everything's up there. Everything you need, the schedule. Actually, I didn't update the schedule. Oops. But uh, if you're listening to us tonight, then you know the schedule's updated. So it's all good. I'll update that after the show and we'll be all up to date. But okay, so that's the deal. 702 957 1037. Trying to watch all the chat. And uh, we're also watching the chat in the Fringe FM Discord. Discord is a chat client, it's a voice client, it's what the youngsters are using to play video games. Us old timers, well, we uh, use it to do talk shows. Uh, <laughs> please join the Fringe Discord at fringe.fm slash chat. And shout out to Ryan Gable, Joe, Joe Roop for, uh, for uh, allowing us to be part of this Fringe FM journey. I appreciate it quite a lot. It's another platform to get a voice out here and uh, meet lots of new people. And that's really what this is all about, isn't it? Uh, so, all right. As we go and we continue doing this, uh, t- tonight, as usual, right, I, I kind of cruise the news and make sure that uh, I, I'm trying to keep things decently relevant, decently fresh, and not pulling up news stories from four or five years ago. So uh, I was kind of going through the news and, you know, as elated as I am to see vampires in the news and werewolves and things like this sometimes, uh, it also caught my attention that uh, this is one of those things that we have never talked about on Troubled Minds ever, ever. And uh, I was like, oh, wow, this is in the news. And what is that exactly? Well, there have been stories, not just stories like actual documented incidents of particular mysterious booms uh, that happen uh, known as possibly skyquakes or uh, the sounds of maybe horns, like biblical horns, kind of uh, just blowing out in the wind that people are confused about. They don't know where the sounds are coming from. Sometimes they're described as humming sounds or things like this, right? Like actual just bizarre sounds that have been reported for a very long time. It's not just uh, a modern thing. As far as I can tell, according to some, uh, they're, they're, these go back centuries. And uh, not only that, it, is this, you know, and of course, I, I see this article, we'll get to the article in just a sec here, but, but as, we, as we end up kind of thinking about things like this, um, I, I like to be extra cautious, uh, only because it's easy to, to really, um, you know, kind of, kind of wave your arms and say, you know, the biblical eschaton is upon us and the revelation is here. And, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think that we have to, uh, there's enough people out there just doing doom and gloom on a daily basis. So, so please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying any of that stuff. Uh, what I am saying though, is that, uh, this, this appears to be happening. People hear these booms out there. They hear these humming sounds. They hear maybe horns in the sky of all places. And, uh, you know, clearly you can't attribute it to wind. I mean, everybody's heard wind and you know what wind is, right? Uh, I don't know. Like this is, this is the type of thing that kind of makes me a little bit suspicious, a little bit interested in a conversation like this, but also, like I said, a little bit hesitant because I, I, I dare I go into full eschaton mode and start, uh, you know, blowing the horns of, <laughs> of a uh, revelation. That's not what we're doing tonight. So uh, it's not what we ever do really on this show, but, but just, uh, just kind of point it out that, uh, please, please remember, um, that's not what I'm saying. All right. That's, that's just not what I'm go- going after here, but okay, let's get to this news story. So this n- news story here is where we start all right now this is exactly the one that got my attention and it's it happened so not only does this stuff happen uh in the united states it happens all over the world so uh uh, looking at uh uh, lincoln linking some stuff in the chat here as we uh, get going and i don't really know um exactly 
what what's happening with this, but uh, it, it does seem to be that if you just do like a quick search of, you know, mysterious booms or booms in the sky or things like this, that there there are dozens or hundreds even of articles that are all over the place. I see them in Montana. I see them in, uh, the, you name it, basically. You name it. It's happening all over the damn world. And so, uh, you know, what do I do? I spend a little time digging into this, looking to see what, what the deal is. And it's uh, it's definitely mysterious. There are uh, some scientists that say they know what's happening with this stuff, and there's some that that uh, still say no, no, uh, doesn't account for that. This is weird yet. This is weird, and we don't know what this stuff is. But anyway, here we go. This is from the IndianExpress.com, and uh, the, the thing that caught my attention, of course, it says an annual ritual, and I was like, uh oh, <laughs> what does this mean? Uh, the the headline continues: Another sonic boom in Bengaluru keeps net- netizens active on social media and i was like wait what really like okay so for we use the word annual ritual in there (laughs) gets me going uh okay uh and then here we go is this an annual ritual netizens cannot stop joking about alien activity they're calling it and speculating the reasons behind the noise and take a look and some of this is in uh in another language on some of the social media posts so i cannot uh, translate this because i do not speak bangalore i'm sorry but or even whatever the language is. I don't even know what the language is in that part of the world. But uh, here we go. Let's, let's uh, straight from the article. It says this. A loud sound just after noon on Friday left people in Karn- Karnataka's capital city, Bengaluru, startled. On social media, some said they heard the boom from a distance, while others claimed their houses shook. Some even said their window panes shattered, sh- actually shattered. However, this disturbance didn't surprise many. Residents heard a similar sound last year, which was at the time dubbed a sonic boom. Uh, This year, with the occurrence coinciding with the World UFO Day, netizens had a field day on social media thinking up crazy theories and, of course, posting memes. Because what is a a great news story without posting memes and uh, crap posting, uh, since we can't say the S word on the radio, but you get my meaning. And uh, all right, so here we go. It remains unclear what caused the noise. While the director of the India Meteorology, <laughs> can't say it, Meteorology, <laughs> that, yeah, that department in Bengaluru urged people not to panic, the Karnataka State Natural Disaster Monitoring Center ruled out the possibility of an earthquake. The Indian Air Force, in a statement, denied it was due to flying activity or any known action from their end. The Ministry of Defense's PRO in Bengaluru did respond to queries. It says actually says did. I think did not respond to queries is what they meant. Uh, so, but okay. So notably, the Indian Air Force, in a statement, denied it was due to any flying activity. Uh, of course, which would be you know a sonic boom, you know something like this from a jet. Uh, kind of a break in the sound barrier. We're all familiar with this. It's one of those uh, scary things that happens the first time you're around it. You know, you see those uh, out here actually uh, right off of uh, Nellis Air Force Base. You, once in a while, you get these jets just come screaming over you, and you get that big, loud pop. Uh, that's, you know, pop, I guess pop is probably a poor way to describe it, but it's definitely a boom, and things shake slightly, and uh, you wonder what the heck just happened. But but this, right, this is exactly how they try and explain these things away. And oddly enough, right, like we, we talk about UFOs on this show, as you know, right? And so if they're, uh, you know, this has actually happened on Friday, which was, which was again, uh, the World UFO Day. All right. So the, the sort of the joke is that is that, you know, this this could be a UFO. Right. But. But in recent media, they've even said, I think it was uh, Daniel Radcliffe, the, the, the uh, director of national, I don't know, I don't even know. A while back, though, this guy said uh, that the, these craft, the, the actual UFOs are operating without sonic booms, and they're moving like incredibly fast. They're, they're clearly visually breaking the sound barrier. We can see with uh, not just our radar data, but with our eyeballs, and they do not create sonic booms. So kind of got me thinking in a number of angles here is that, well, all right, is this, uh, could this be any sort of a actual like aerial phenomenon, you know, sort of like the unidentified version of maybe uh, sonic booms happening? Is it, uh, imagine if you were like a teenage alien joyriding maybe, and you were like, hey, watch this, let's turn off our anti-gravity for a second, let's scare the piss out of these humans, you know, something like that. 
Maybe. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I doubt it. I, I kind of doubt it. Right. But I mean, I think that's the thing with uh, with what's happening here is that you get a lot of these theories. All right. And theories are fine. I'm, I'm fine with theories. That's what we do on this show. Right. We do theories on this show. But uh, a, a lot of this uh, seems to be either explained away, you know, very much like uh, kind of like Project Blue Book and Swamp Gas and the rest of this stuff, like they say, or it's uh, it's it's not explained at all. Um, and so this in particular, actually, from this, this article itself, it says, notably, remember, the Indian Air Force in a statement denied it was due to any flying activity or any known action from their end. So the Indian Air Force has said, nope, nope, uh, and no, this is not a thing. So, again, in, in, just like we say, with, again, the, 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 the little tirade about transparency when we started tonight uh, is, is very much to do with this. As you as you can see, right, is that uh, if if this was like just a simple Air Force type of situation where uh, we had a you know some test or some sonic boom, and you know sonic boom is not even new. I mean, this goes back uh, decades and decades and decades uh, that this, we've been able to do this stuff. So, like that in particular, I don't think necessarily explains it away because not only remember, not only do we hear these booms, we hear. Um, I've never heard them myself. If anybody out there has actually, love to hear from you. I'm going to put the phone number back up. You can give me a call and uh, tell us about this stuff or what you think it is because, of course, uh, that's what it's all about. It's about uh, trying to get together and speculate on this stuff and uh, what do you really think is going on out there in the world we live in. But uh, if you've seen it, heard something like this and you think it's uh whatever you think it is i'd love to hear from you 702-957-1037 that's 702-957-1037 troubledminds.org click the discord link and uh put you on the show simple as that all right so uh i see the uh the links uh thank you night stalker for the uh, links there mysterious uh, loud rumbling sounds and yeah, so exactly. Richard says the hum in chat. Richard, and that's the thing, right? So it's not just these booms, which you could explain away as a sonic boom, right? As like a jet breaking the sound barrier. All right, simple. But it's not that. It, like in, in many cases, again, people have heard like heard horns, right? Trumpets blaring, things like this that seem to materialize out of nowhere, out of thin air, and you're just doing your thing, pumping gas or something, and you hear out in the distance. Horns blaring, right? Like actual, uh, you know, dare I say, biblical style of horns. I don't know. I mean, that's the type of stuff that uh, would sure as hell creep me out. Um, but uh, so then not not just, again, horns people hear, these booms that we're talking about that some have described as sonic booms, uh, humming. Uh, and these are the types of things that, of course, are, what, what would you call them? Anomalous. This is definitely anomalous. So the reason why in this, the Indian Express article here, where it, why it mentions a an annual ritual is because this time last year something happened very similar and it was uh, it was another uh, sonic boom here let's see or a, a, that's what they described it then all right let's see let's see here's some of the memes they got the alien memes and all the rest of this stuff all right i think this is the one from last year let's see yeah, yeah. So here we go. So this is the one from uh, this is again from IndianExpress.com. So this is another article talking about the same thing, but it's actually discussing what happened last year uh, around the same time. And not only that, like what the heck is going on with this? Uh, so here we go. Let's read just a little bit of this and then we'll keep on trucking. So that's what we're talking about tonight. These weird booms in the sky that are not just maybe sonic booms sounding. They are uh, in some cases trumpets people hear and in other cases they hear humming sounds. And, uh, you know, is this not, you know, natural phenomenon mistaken for something else? I guess that's one of the questions tonight. And if it's not, then what the heck is this? <laughs> like, what in the world is going on? So here we go. This is another sonic boom. Loud sound heard in Bengaluru today. Uh, so the sonic boom that the city had witnessed last year caused by a routine IAF test flight involving a supersonic profile that took off from Bengaluru Airport. Now, of course... Uh, that, that last year they described it. They said, yep, this is what happened. So here we go. A loud sound was heard by the residents of Bengaluru to around 1230 p.m. on Friday, reminding them of the sonic sonic boom they heard a year back. Speaking to Indian Express, C.S. Patil, the director of India Meteorological, I said it, department's Bengaluru unit said, do not panic. We are checking with the mines department regarding any blasts. So uh, according to the uh, Karnataka State Natural Disaster Monitoring Center, there was no signal of any local tremor or earthquake. In a statement, the KSNDMC said, quote, 
A report of loud sound by the local community was received from Kengeri Raja Jasari. I can't <laughs> these words. Okay, we're going to just say Bengaluru today. During the time duration at 12 to 12.45 p.m., the data was closely analyzed from our seismic observatory for any possible seismic signals of an earthquake. The earthquake data slash record analyzed for the above durations show no sign of local tremor slash earthquake. So, uh, scientifically speaking, uh, there's no there's no explanation for this. And so they said that it has nothing to do with the Air Force. It has nothing to do with uh, any kind of seismic activity, which is one of the main theories which we'll get into tonight as we talk into tonight as we talk about this. Is uh, you know there, some scientists uh, say it's. Uh, a seismic type of situation, right, with the the plates grinding against each other and not quite creating an earthquake. So we'll get to that in some of that data a little bit as we go tonight. But but I don't know. The, the question remains is what do you think these things are? I mean, I could understand if you were trying to explain them away as, you know, a sonic boom. I, I mean, presumably people would see a jet, right? I mean, it's not if it's if it's flying through, I mean, it's got to be really damn high or, you know, behind the clouds for you to not see it in broad daylight like that. We're talking 1230 p.m. Just, you know, lunchtime, you know, a bunch of people are going to be out, you would expect. So I don't know, like or regarding that, I think I think it's easy to kind of write off a sonic boom from a jet. I think it's kind of easy just because, like I said, it's uh, it's easy to see these things as, as well as hear these things. And even if, you know, just a few people see it, they would be reporting it. But that's not the world we live in, right? <laughs> the world we live in is that we talk about aliens and we talk about uh, all this other weird stuff that uh, they're, they're posting these memes on those two articles that I liked, which, which is hilarious, by the way, that you get this boom sound. Nobody sees anything. The, the Air Force denies anything that they did it. The, the seism, seismological <laughs> record says, no, nope, there's no earthquake of any size. And so what do we do? We go to aliens <laughs> we go to we go to the memes uh, we go to uh Giorgio Tsoukalos and ancient aliens uh it, could these booms be brought to you by aliens ancient astronaut theorists say yes yes <laughs> so i don't know i think this is the um, this is the weirdness of this and uh you know again so so we have a, a boom happen on friday like some sort of large boom some people say their windows shattered actually shattered all right then we have the airport in india deny everything and say it had nothing to do with us there were no test flights there was nobody flying in the area and we have the earthquake seismological department saying nope there was no earthquake to be found so so and if all that is true does or does not the plot thicken <laughs> does suddenly are there going to be other oh i don't know less than ordinary explanations for this. I think that's the question tonight. If uh, if you've heard some of this stuff, I'd love to hear from you. If you uh, know what this might be, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear from you. I'm, I'm kind of out of ideas. I don't know. I don't know. And exactly. Now, this is kind of part of the point, too. What's up? Uh, Dagger Spells in the chat says, the military has already played with silencing the sonic boom. And that's exactly what I was going to get at tonight a little bit with the uh, the UFOs and the technology that they say may or may not be ours or may not be theirs or whatever, et cetera, so on. If there's craft out there that are not creating sonic booms or at least minimizing these things when you break the, the sound barrier, um, then, well... What the heck is going on here? I do not know. I do not know. So that's the question tonight. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, thank you. I see that. You guys uh, find in some threads and to talk about this stuff. But anyway, so that's that's what's on deck tonight. I don't know the answers here. As you know, this is not the answer show. This is the question show. So uh, that's that's what I'm asking. I'm asking you guys, what do you think this stuff is? Do you think it's uh, maybe as simple as the Air Force denying something that happened and they were responsible for it? Or do you think it's a little bit more exotic than that as far as the uh, explanations go? And that's what's on deck tonight. That's what we're doing on Troubled Minds. And happy Monday, by the way. I always like to say Monday's not as bad as you make it as long as you don't make it a Monday. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if that made any sense. But all right. So that's the deal. That's what we're talking about tonight. And if you guys have heard anything about these sonic booms, these horns, these weird humming sounds, I'd love to hear from you. uh, Because that's what we're talking about tonight. Because why in the world not? You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, you will. All right, so that's what's up. If you want to be part of the show tonight, 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. Give us a call. 
Love to hear your take on this. What do you think is happening out there? Is it something natural? Is it something military? Is it something a little more exotic than all of that? Give me a call, 702-957-1037. Go to troubledminds.org. Phone number and the Discord link are there. Don't go anywhere. More talk about these weird sounds in the sky after the break. Welcome back to Troubled Minds. I'm your host, Michael Strange. We are streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and DLive. We are broadcasting live on the Fringe FM, and we're taking your phone calls. If you want to be part of the show tonight, give us a call at 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037, and we'll put you on the show. We are talking about... Those strange sounds in the sky, grinding metal sounds, booms, horns, people have said, humming sounds. What in the world is going on out there? I, uh, I'm a little confused as to if this is all one thing or if this is a bunch of different things or if it's easily explained or if it's uh, some pretty exotic uh, <laughs> type of explanations. I have no idea. So uh, that's the deal. That's what we're talking about tonight. And if you've, I see lots of people in the chat actually say they've heard some of these things. People saying they've heard horns. People have heard grinding metal sounds. People have heard all kinds of stuff like this. If you've heard this firsthand, I'd love to hear from you tonight. Because again, if you get together and you talk about these things as firsthand experiences, there's no way it can be filtered. You're going to be able to tell the story in your own words and say, look, this is what happened to me. And people are out there listening. And that's the most important part of this is that if you can tell your story in your own words, you don't have to rely on the media to misrepresent you, leave out crucial details, none of that. That's why we've always done in this format. So if you want to be part of the show, 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. And uh, broadcasting on the Fringe FM, of course, doing our thing. Let's go to Derek in Massachusetts, the Night Stalker. What's up, my friend? You're on Trouble Minds with Mike. How are you? Hey, Mike. Great show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about this this crazy stuff? I'm I'm a little bit in between uh, not knowing and not knowing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't know either. I mean, uh, only questions, but I got a couple of theories. This is actually one of my uh, favorite topics when I'm trying to find new stories. This is like one of the uh, keywords that I always use is uh, mysterious booms. So, like, they've honestly been happening, like, Honestly, every, every three weeks, I feel like a different part of the world has it. Uh, last month, it was uh, San Diego. There was one in uh, near Boston, near me, um, a couple months ago. They're really happening all the time. First, uh, big congrats on the on the new Monday um, time slot. Thank you. Uh, Monday's a good day. I got Monday off, so it's a nice treat to have more content to listen to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. I, I appreciate you um, contributing and calling in. Uh, all right, so... Probably in, in order of like um, in we- of weirdness, and then I'm, I'm probably gonna take it uh, pretty pretty weird here. Okay. But um, like the mo- the most um, common theories you hear for it are like either uh, underground bases or like possible weather warfare stuff. Like uh, a lot of like the ones that like the, the sounds you hear in the sky usually wouldn't be contributed to like underground bases, but a lot of the grinding and that kind of stuff, like these mysterious rumbles and shaking like beneath people's feet. Um, seem to be connected to these dumbs, possibly, like uh, these deep underground military bases, you know. Um, but also there's, uh, like, I kind of started tracking it, like, early 2019, and at the time people were really focused on weather warfare um, for some reason, and, uh, like, more so than now. And uh, so atmospheric booms and atmospheric rumbles were sometimes contributed to these mysterious booms. And those are kind of cool, but I always bring up Lovecraft a lot, and then there's a bit of Lovecraft tie into this, if you uh, if you if you want it. Perfect. <laughs> you're you're speaking my language. <laughs> Go right ahead, sir. All right. All right uh, let me find uh, this passage. All right. So the first um, story I ever read from Lovecraft was uh, a Dunwich Horror, which um, I think it introduced the Cthulhu myth- uh, mythos. Basically, um, it takes place in uh, at um, Lovecraft's real uh, trip to America, Stonehenge, in New Hampshire. 
uh, near me, and it's like these, uh, it's like a sacred site, mysterious uh, stone circles, and that's like what he has in, like, in the story too. So in the story, um, the main character is this like scary, evil character basically, um, who's like half half old one or whatever. He's like he's a, a, a freak kind of, and uh, he's doing these cattle mutilations and eventual like human mutilations in uh, these stone circles. Um, which in real life, America Stonehenge, the owner ties it to uh, Baal worship. Like, he believes it's an actual site, uh, site where they did ritual sacrifices and that kind of stuff. And uh, it's in actual Lovecraft country. So in the story, he gets discovered doing these rituals to open a portal to bring in these old ones um, because the cattle mutilations cause rumblings and f- fire to happen, like, in the sky and below their feet at the same time. And the town realizes what he's doing because because of that. Um, I can read a quick uh, passage from it, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. Sure, go right ahead. All right. Um, so, from a dumb witch horror, um, the old legends speak of unhallowed rites and conclaves of the Indians, amidst which they call forbidden shapes of shadow out of the great rounded hills and made wild, uh, ecclesiastic prayers that were answered by loud cracklings and rumbles from the ground below. Um, the following months were void of visible, uh, visible events. Um, blah, blah, blah. They were light fires on the top of Sentinel, uh, Sentinel Hill, which is the American Stonehenge. I wish the times the mountain's rumblings would occur with greater and greater violence. A rumbling seemed um, brewing beneath the, the hill, strangely mixed with the concordant rumbling, which clearly came from the sky. So in the story, like these rituals, these cattle mutilations, these bloodlettings at these sacred sites causes mysterious, untraceable sounds below your feet, in your hair, I mean, uh, in the air, like above your head, like... I think that's pretty interesting. So are these, like, side effects of rituals going on around the world, like possibly in underground bases or at these sacred sites or by whoever, you know? I don't know. So yeah, that, that's a good take idea. there. Uh, it, it is odd, though, that they, they're happening everywhere. Like you said, I, I was surprised. I started searching this expecting there to not be a ton of these, right? Kind of like you know, when, when they happen, they seem to make news, in my opinion. But I'm way wrong because, like, they're they're out there. It's just a, you you do a little bit of digging, and it's unbelievable. They're happening the world over. So if that's the case, I I I I, I like a lot of the theories here. But but who knows if it's ritual stuff? That's a lot of crazy stuff going on out there. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, what the heck I mean, is going uh, on in this world? There, there, there might be <laughs> there might be a lot of ritual. I think like one of these end games is this global ritual synchronization in order to collapse the grid to. Or at least these, to bring in these old ones into our reality, and that's that's what the Lovecraft mythology is talking about. In this case, it's, it's a specific portal at this one location, but there's all kinds of weird like uh, uh, Earth events or like n- like nature kind of has these weird synchronistic uh, like connections to event. Like for instance, in Nova Scotia a few months ago, or at this point maybe it's like last summer, but there was um, a terrorist attack in Nova Scotia where somebody killed like ten people randomly. And the next day, uh, in the same exact spot, like, thousands of birds just fell out of the sky. And, like, that's the type of thing where if you do these, like, I've never practiced magic, but, like, the idea behind it is there's these spots where these window areas, these these spots that have an effect over reality, these, like, torsion spots, where if you do something on it, you do, like, for instance, a rain dance to make it as simple as possible, it changes reality. If you do something more extreme, like a like a bloodletting or whatever, it really affects reality. With the goal being to to break it all down, you know. When I, mean, I was first tracking them, I was like, they were all happening around rivers, like around these spots where I do believe it is it is uh, portal spots. Like one of the first ones I tracked was at the, the uh, Susquehanna River, which has its own weird saga with all this uh, ritual, ritual weirdness and stuff. Um, but there's also like like the biblical stuff. Actually, I, I know you said you didn't want to get into that, but there are like a lot of implications for that because the uh, seals opening could just be like a biblical interpretation of portals opening to let in these old ones, you know, like the seven seals opening to release the end of the world sounds a lot like a biblical interpretation of what Lovecraft's trying to say, you know, with these doors opening, causing the shaking or whatever. Um, I'm rambling, but yeah, that's okay. So, so definitely re- regarding the biblical stuff, the only reason I don't want to bring it up myself is because I, my, my scripture is so poor. 
uh, that I, I, I kind of don't want to flub it and sound like I'm telling you the world, uh, the end is nigh. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's oh, just, yeah, yeah. So it's okay. We can no, talk about yeah. it. I just don't want to, me, myself, blunder through it and sound like more of a moron than I already do. <laughs> so, that, so it's okay to talk about <laughs> it for sure. It's all good. Um, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm, I'm not a biblical expert. I've, I've become a lapsed Catholic and everything. Um, but, like, that's, that is one of the first things people go to is these hums, these strange, these strange trumpet sounds or whatever. I'll try to find it during the course of the show, show so maybe you can play it later. But there's this one video I saw uh, of screams in the sky, like like the, one of the craziest videos I've ever, I've, I've ever, or one of the craziest sounds I've ever heard. It's like these booms or hums, but it's like a it's like a demon screaming loud, loud in the upper atmosphere. It's it's it sounds like cheesy how I'm saying it, but it's it's uh, it's chilling. And I'm I don't know. It's weird. It's reality is weird, and I think like I think. There's a lot of elements, a lot of like interactions, like metaphysically, that we don't really understand. Where different things could have an impact on, a, like it could make str- str- like groans and hums and all that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, sure. so uh, we We're got a, a friend in the chat there. Um, he, his name is Game yeah. Vet O2. He's a truck driver, and he said that he heard one that was like metal screeching, and it was so loud he heard it over his actual big rig engine. I mean, that's that kind of sounds a little bit of what you're describing, like right there. Maybe without the metal, more like the demon screams. But that's loud. That is yeah. extremely loud. Uh, where was he? I'm curious to see uh, where where in the world he was. I uh, mean, the, like the metal, the, the grinding, like specifically, makes me think it's something going on underground. Like it sounds like those uh, Elon Musk style boring tunnels or whatever. Like underground bases. I'm not sure if you've done an underground base show, um, like before um, you were on the fringe, but it it's it's one of the cooler like theories people go to because it's 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 um, it could be right under our feet and stuff, but it's also very possible. Like rich people in even non-conspiracy are investing, like going beneath, like they're building floors. It's like a it's like a new trendy thing, especially in like uh, places where you can't you don't have a vast plot of land. They're building down, and like a person with a lot of money, it takes like ten, it costs like ten thousand dollars to buy one of these boring. Um, tunnel diggers or whatever. So on, like, and that's on a small scale. Um, that's like a that's like a like a creepy Epstein building tunnels between between houses style, um, and that could be causing rumbles people are hearing. But also on a large scale, I do think there could be like a whole network of underground bases beneath our feet. You know. Yeah, that part doesn't but surprise I me at all. I, I, so he he was actually in, yeah. around Minnesota, as where he where he drives the truck. I'm not sure about, about Minnesota weirdness, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, um, I'll let you go because I'm, I'm I'm rambling. But that's okay. I, I feel like I never really hear the uh, the, the ritual angle, so I feel like I, I just thought I tossed that out in the beginning. Yeah, because uh, I because I'm not very stuff. good at it. That's why <laughs> the ritual angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, like, like always, stuff, I, I appreciate the call. Thanks for thanks for uh, thanks for calling in. Thanks for being part of this. That's uh, that's uh, the Night Stalker. That's uh, Derek from Massachusetts. Good stuff. So so uh, is there exactly like he's describing? Is some sort of a uh, maybe a worldwide ritual type situations going on, even in small scales, where if you do it in the right areas, you're you're kind of maybe causing these these noises, these strange noises in the sky. And that's what we're talking about tonight. Again, thank you, Derek. A fantastic call. Like, uh, I, I love when you call because uh, you, you're kind of taking this in ways that I hadn't considered, and that's that's what this is all about. It's kind of a kind of bending the mind a little bit to to maybe catch up to what reality may or may not be. So, fantastic stuff. Always a great call from Night Stalker there. Uh, so, we're taking your phone calls tonight. I know that uh, a lot of you out there in chat have have been saying that you've heard these things. If you have a if you have a first hand account of hearing any of this stuff in the sky, whether it's whether it be horns like the biblical horns, like people have described, any kind of humming like weird humming that you can't explain, uh, these booms like just happened in uh, Bangalore, India, or uh, anything like this, right? Like this is the type of stuff that uh, we're talking about tonight. And not only that, what do you think causes this? I, I think we got a, a lot of good uh, explanations there, possible explanations from uh, from Derek, uh, underground bases for one, and for sure sure for sure they are everywhere underground bases are everywhere that's one of those things that uh you know especially for the cold war and like the the nuclear bunkers and all the rest of this you better believe they had bases 
everywhere that they were digging underground because clearly, right, if a nuclear winter breaks out, then uh, where are you going to go where it's safe? The only place to go is underground that's safe at that point. And so uh, you, you know they're everywhere. And then so not only that, it was a great point that rich people are doing it too. You don't have to be government. Uh, at this point, the technology is so cheap, uh, for rich folks anyway, you know, like Mark Zuckerberg on his uh, fancy surfboard with the American flag, if you guys missed that, <laughs> which was amazing, by the way. But, you know, these, these rich folks out there are just doing their thing, the elites. Uh, not only that, recently, uh, in the last, uh, I think it's the last couple years, I think it's starting in 2019, is that a lot of these elites were moving out of uh, out, out of the mainland. They were They're, they're setting up... Their their uh, apocalypse bunkers in places like Hawaii, places like uh, New Zealand, things like this, right? So, uh, trying to do what exactly? Hmm. Interesting stuff there. But yeah. So anyway, I digress a little bit. But but I think I think some of this may fit into uh, exactly what what uh, Derek was saying there. Meaning that if there's underground bases everywhere then it stands to reason that you'd be hearing really strange stuff in particular parts of uh, the country or per- particular parts of the world. And so that's, uh, that's what we're talking about tonight. Is this, uh, the, this weird phenomenon? And actually, so, so what is it? And uh, I see a lot of people out there saying that they, uh, they, um, they've seen these things. And uh, what's up, Cole? says, I have a fairly rational theory on the low humming. Uh, give us a call. Love to hear from you guys. 702-957-1037. Phone number's up. And uh, looking to hear uh, your take on this. Have you heard these things? What do you think they could be? Great stuff from Derek there to get us started tonight. And I don't know. Uh, I don't have a good theory here because there's so many things that are, that are kind of differing. Uh, of course, the horns, the booms, the hums, there's different sounds we're talking about. Metal screeching in some cases. I think that's the weirdness. That's the weirdness here with me and, and not really having a, some kind of unified theory just yet because it's all, it's all over the place uh, depending on uh, basically what you're doing. So the only weird thing that I've heard is uh, I hear those power lines hum sometimes, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Kind of been out there in the summertime and heard like the, the bzz, kind of like a, like, a, like a really, not really a high pitch. It's kind of a low pitch hum, but it's, it's definitely a hum and it's definitely coming from the power lines. I don't know. I didn't touch them to find out because, you know, well, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean? It's uh, that stuff happens out there. And so I know there's going to be some regular explanations for a lot of these things. But what about the ones that are not? And that's that's the question. Like if I heard if I was out there just taking a walk and I heard horns blaring from the sky, I think that would change my mind quite a lot about all the rest of this. So, so yeah. Um, so Game Veto Two says a uh, metal grinding sounds with a high speed circular saw sound, and so that's uh, that's what we're talking about tonight. These weird sounds in the sky. What do you think they are? Is it military? Is it underground bases? Is it the breakaway civilization just boring away underneath our feet? Is it something else entirely? Is this biblical? Is this, uh, well, the seven seals? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I hope it's not Revelation because uh, I'm, uh, I'm not planning on that, by the way. I haven't made that part of my plans. So <laughs> I, I hate for Revelation and the end of times to ruin my day. So you know what I'm talking about? All right. So <laughs> we've got another phone call. Let's go to, uh, I'm not sure who this is. Uh, good evening. You're on Trouble Minds with Mike. What's your first name and where are you calling from? Hello, hello? No, negative, negative, negative. Uh, let's see. And uh, so Daggerspell said this, the military has already been playing with silencing the sonic boom. And that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. So I, my mind goes to military and UFOs and that technology. And I kind of think that we have, um, you know, th- these technologies that they're not telling us about. And so meaning that, you know, they always have, right, the, back to the SR-71 that replaced the U-2 spy plane and how they didn't really talk about that for decades and all the rest of this stuff. But it's weird to me that, uh, you know, we could have these possible whatever they are, right, these uh, these DARPA technologies that, uh, as we talked about, like, last week with the Richard Dolan, uh, he was describing, like, uh, anti-gravity tech and things like this. And it's, I guess it would be possible to, for these things to be making, uh, making, uh, making weird sounds, right? Making uh, odd buzzing or I don't know about horns. Well, talk about a psyop, though. Like, again, this is, this is why I, I, uh, 
I kind of started doing this show is because I think I think probably a lot of this is is government. A lot, I think a lot of this and what what how deep it goes I do not know. What's up, Dagger Spell says I guarantee you eighty percent of what we see is ours, and I kind of agree. I think that uh, not just the technology, it's uh, it seems like uh, there's they're they're hiding a lot and they're not telling us the truth about a lot of things. And so if we have these underground bases everywhere and metal grinding sounds, it definitely definitely makes me suspicious. So so as you as you know, I start digging into some of this stuff and there's this there's this great website actually it looks like unfortunately it hasn't been updated since around 20 2014 but it's called mysterybooms.com if you can believe that and i was like all right sweet this is a this is a spot that actually has a bunch of really good information on here and somebody who like did the deep dive for me i was like yeah hell yeah this is what i'm talking about somebody into this way more than i am and uh, they can explain how this is all right, so here we go. Just a little bit from this website, and we'll continue on with some of some more of this because there's a lot of good information here. I've linked it in all the chat, so if you guys want to check it out, then uh, please do. But here we go. The, the intro from this is, For centuries, a variety of different sounds classified as mysterious noises have been documented around the world. Such noises are often likened to thunder-like booms or explosions, and in many instances, the sounds remain of unexplained origin, though a number of suggestions have been made as to what their causes may be. In recent years, an increase in media coverage of the phenomenon, along with new theories about their cause, have led to new interest in the phenomenon. However, scientific literature documents that mystery noises have occurred for some time as documented by researchers the likes of David P. Hill scientist emeritus with the u.s geological survey and the american physicist william r corliss uh, and he's got uh, sources on this stuff and again i like sources i do like sources uh that was me calling all right try again call back call back yep call back all right so mystery booms so is this new straight from the website here from uh, from mysterybooms.com despite much attention the subject has received since 2014 loud noises of unexplained origin have been commonly reported throughout history the term seneca guns has been used in reference to reports of loud booms reported for decades along north carolina's outer banks the nickname however has its roots further north where similar mystery noises have been reported around new york's catskill mountains near the vicinity of lake seneca it is further believed that these sounds were referenced in liter- literary works such as Washington Irving's Rip Van Winkle and James Fenimore Cooper's The Lake Gun. In Green- Greenland, French explorers near Scoresby Sound in the 1930s once described a deep foghorn-like noise that has been called Ton der Dovbai. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but uh, let's roll with it. Elsewhere around the world, the Bay of Bengal has its Bonsal guns. Uh, while known as booms known as Yan, Y-A-N, have been reported near Shikoku, Japan. The Italian Apennines also have their version of thunderous phenomenon of unexplained origin similar to the Belgian descriptions of mist poofers or fog belches. So there you go. Been happening. Uh, we got accounts way back to the 30s here. And not only that, they're all over the damn world. So what the heck is going on? So notably, 1930. All right, 1930. Does anybody know when the first sonic boom actually happened? The first actual sonic boom happened in the sky. Anybody know? Well, I'll tell you after we come back from the break. So, Because <laughs> I looked a little bit into that as well. So if we have these uh, instances going back hundreds of years before we were even flying planes, then what in the world is going on? That's the question tonight. I have no idea. As you know, this is the an- uh, not the answer show. This is the question show. So I have questions to ask. What is going on with these weird sounds in the sky? Have you heard them? Uh, I see people in the chat describing that they they've they've heard these things. They've seen these things, or at least uh, at least with their ears, if you catch my meaning. And uh, if you have, I'd love to hear from you. We're taking your phone calls tonight, and we're talking about these strange sounds in the sky, be it horns, hums, booms, metal scraping, or something else entirely. You tell me. We're looking to hear from you tonight, 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. I don't have a good explanation for this. Uh, I, it does. It is one of those things that kind of brings more questions to my mind than answers. And so sometimes that's a good thing. Like I always say, we don't have to have all the answers all the times, do we? But it sure is fun as hell thinking about it. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. Hopefully you can fill me in. 
one more time, 702-957-1037. This is Troubled Minds. I'm Michael Strange. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. More after the break. Conspiracy, the paranormal, the government, academia, the 24-hour news cycle, propaganda, and the general feeling that we live in the upside down. And we are taking your phone calls tonight as we discuss these bizarre sounds in the sky, meaning some people hear mysterious horns that seem to have no explanation, or mysterious booms like you might expect to hear from a sonic boom or maybe an earthquake as the mantle slips yeah right uh, sorry the plates the plates slip not the mantle that would be more disastrous but you, you get the point here so humming horns screeching metal sounds sonic booms things things that really in in many cases cannot be explained easily uh we've uh, we've kind of kicked around some ideas here great call from derek to get us kicked off tonight a uh, meaning that uh could this be some sort of ritual magic in particular areas could this be deep underground bases uh with the metal grinding uh what about the booms what about the horns playing what about uh again we, I'm, I, I'm i'm willing to go into the down the biblical road i just uh, don't want anybody to misunderstand that i'm saying the end is nigh because i'm not saying that like i said it's not in my plans and uh I'm, i prefer to not put it in the plans if you know what i'm saying all right so if you want to be part of the show the number to call is this right here 702-957-1037 that's 702-957-1037 and uh we're taking your phone calls and a lot of people in the chat have said they've heard these things these bizarre sounds whether they be horns or booms or screeches or metal or this or that or the other thing I don't know. I've never heard them in particular, but I am astonished at the number of news reports that describe these things. Uh, like Derek was saying, I found the, the recent ones in San Diego that happened down there. Uh, they happen in, in middle America, the, the Dakotas. They happen everywhere, literally everywhere. Uh, this one that actually got us started today uh, happened on Friday in Bangalore, India. All right. And so uh, let's, uh, let's just kind of recircle back to, to reframe this so um, as people are showing up, they understand what, what we're talking about here here and this is weird right this is a little bit weird because it's uh it, it's it's not really described well as of what this could be uh if it's if it's like a, a boom a sonic boom that's happening uh that's uh, that's like a you know air force right the air force but well the indian air force says it wasn't then so quick quickly uh we got a phone call we'll get to that in just a sec an annual ritual 
Another sonic boom in Bengaluru keeps netizens active on social media. And so this time last year, they said they heard another sonic boom, which then the Air Force in India actually claimed it as one of their own uh, tests or aircraft or something to that effect, which is uh, on this article here, which I'll link and you guys can check that out as well. But this year, uh, no seismic activity. The Air Air Force has denied it was them. And uh, here we are scratching our head wondering what in the world is going on with these bizarre sonic booms. Or again, uh, not in this case, but reports the world over of not just sonic booms or booms, uh, things that are more like uh, trumpets or humming or, uh, yes, that's right, all of those things, metal grinding. I don't know. Let's go to uh, let's go to whoever this is. I think this is. Uh, oh, yep. I'm calling you back. I'm calling Justin back. All right. There you go. There you go. I'm pretty sure it was Justin. All right. Anyway, uh, give me a call back, Justin. Uh, we were about to go to Justin. Literally, I clicked the phone and it uh, hung up. So give me a call back, my friend, and we'll put you on the show. But anyway, all right. So let's go back to this uh, to these just these couple articles here, and then we'll get back to this other website that's describing what's going on. So okay, a loud sound sound just after noon Friday left people in Karnataka's capital city Bengaluru startled. On social media, some said they heard the boom from a distance, while others claimed their houses shook. Some even said their window panes shattered. Shattered. What in the world? However, this disturbance didn't surprise many. Residents heard a similar sound last year, which was at the time dubbed a sonic boom. This year, with the occurrence coinciding with World UFO Day, netizens had a field day on social media, thinking up crazy theories and, of course, posting memes. And so, right, of course. I mean, like I said, I don't think it's outlandish to suggest that these sounds are coming from UFOs, like um, somebody uh, actually mentioned in the chat. I think that uh, if if we're experimenting with with you know exotic craft, exotic UFOs, and some have speculated you know reverse engineering UFOs and things like this, or uh, again Richard Dolan said that he got a leak from the classified version of the UFO report, and there was anti gravity uh, situations with uh, I, I think it was antimatter propulsion and with. Uh, I mean, some really exotic stuff that they're, that he's claiming the government has been working on with DARPA and, and all the rest of this. So it stands to reason to me, if the government's working on these things, that you would be able to hear them in certain instances. But that does that describe exactly what's going on? Maybe like a cloaking technology secret project? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that uh, this seems to be a little stranger than the rest of that because of not just the different sounds. Again, maybe it's different things we're talking about. Now, that's that's a fair assessment, I think. But if it's uh, if it's still mysterious sounds coming from presumably nowhere, just the sky, or uh, you know, like there's no like metal grinding, but there's no anything happening around you. I think there's a there's a something to that, right? So that's what we're doing. So if you want to be part of the show, it's 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. And uh, let's see. What do we got? That, that is a fantastic. Let's see. <laughs> did, did that get removed? Oh, that was a great That was a great comment in chat. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I thought that got deleted. All right. Anyway, so uh, th- that's what we're talking about. 702-957-1037. And if you want to be part of the show, uh, we're talking about these these booms, these grinding sounds, these hums, and maybe even these horns. Have you heard these things? The shofar, as it's called. Uh, again, uh, thanks for Michael on Facebook for pointing me out to the shofar, which is a... A, uh, an ancient musical horn typically made of a ram's horn used for Jewish religious purposes. And uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I hadn't heard of that. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Justin. Let's see if we can get Justin on the line. What's up, Justin? You're on Troubled Minds with Mike. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, man. I'm trying to keep the signal. So if I lose, lose you, I'm going to call back. Okay. I'll keep turning. All right, so uh, go right ahead. What do you think uh, is up with these uh, these weird sounds, and have you heard any of this stuff? The sounds are reality fixing itself. It's from a device they are using, and every time they use it, it warps our reality. It's called the Man- you know the Mandela effect, CERN. All of that is connected. It's one big spider web, and it all connects to a single point. And the point I can't tell you. That's when they'll shut us down. That's when they'll actually come and charge us with treason for going too deep. So I can go as deep as they'll let me. 
Okay. But it's okay. a weapon, a direct energy weapon. These are weapons that are so mind blowingly advanced that if people saw them, they would panic. They would freak out, and society would completely break down. They couldn't handle it. Okay, so so and, uh, direct energy weapons, meaning that's what's making these sounds as well? It's it's all the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's, it's reality. It's warps in reality repairing themselves. The damage is done. The Mandela effect, these warps, these missing links and stuff, people not remembering stuff. That's reality warping, and then the sounds is the sound of reality snapping back into play. It changes permanent. We can't go back and change it back to the way it was. It's done. So we have to be careful using these experiments and technology, and someone wasn't careful. They went back and they screwed up a lot of stuff. We ain't even in the original timeline anymore. Our universe merged with a parallel universe, but it is it was still a multiverse. But we are merged with our parallel universe. That's why we have different memories. Why you can remember something happening one way, and all of a sudden you remember a different way when you was a kid. Yeah, the Mandela effect. I'm very familiar with that. We've talked about that quite often on the show. So, so they're so they're basically breaking down the 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 scaffold of reality, and then that sound that we're hearing is the 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 reality kind of snapping back together and kind of a getting resealing itself, for for lack of a better term here. Yeah, but everything is a frequency. We all are on vibrate. We know we all vibrate. We all have. Frequency. Everything's moving. All matter is on a frequency. And that is basically magnifying the effect, uh, the sound. If you was to listen, if you was to do it on a small scale, you would hear that, but it's not as loud. Okay. All right. So, so, uh, so how long has this been happening? Do you think, so this, you think this is definitely a government program of sorts? And they're, we they're just... Going- Stuff go ahead, go ahead. After the 40s, we got our hands on stuff, and we started doing stuff we shouldn't have, and we screwed up reality. We screwed up space, reality, we screwed everything up, and now it's just one big mess, and they're trying to get it fixed, but it's going downhill. The reptilians, you know, the evil ones, the more darker side, they've got the grip on reality than we don't. Okay. People who are more towards the light, they get put off and called crazy. They're like, oh, you're a nut job. You don't know what you're talking about. you got mental health problems, and then they get labeled. And then the science community, the science community, they would rather argue than work together and actually move forward. What do you think in the last, since World War II, we quit moving forward? We should have flying cars, floating cities, space travel, and all that by now, 2020. It stopped because all the funding went to, they want you to think war. But no, it all went to the secret space program. There's an entire planet of people, and probably another 8 billion people that we don't even know about, living on Mars, living in another planet somewhere, an artificial planet. And it's been going on for 75 years now. Okay, so this and when people realize that it's been this long and it's it's made it this far, they're not going to be happy, and I don't think you'll be able to handle it. Society will break down. Okay, so so it's this is much larger than anything I'm even conceiving of here. This is a this is a very very large thing. Is this? Uh, this is why I've been hesitant to call. Okay. Because I, when I talk to you about this stuff, they can put a bullseye on my head. I might not wake up anymore. Okay, we're we're not trying to do that. We're not trying to don't don't say anything that'll get you in, in trouble. Okay. So, so I want to tell everybody what I know. It's time people should know. I think yeah, I think people on this show can handle what I'm going to tell them. Okay, but still, don't don't, don't don't say anything. Believe it, so so. Know? So there's a couple a couple reasons here. I say this clearly. We don't want anything to happen to you. Number one. Number two. We don't want uh, any any classified information to leak. If you know what I'm saying. So if you have a military military background, uh, maybe we should not talk about this. Is my point. I so, never so, signed anything. Nope. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So, so I, I can say whatever. Okay. All right. So that's good to know. Uh, but still, we don't want to get you in any kind of trouble regardless. All right. But the thing is this, right? So have you ever heard these? Have you seen anything like this? The, heard any, any weird sounds in the sky that you can describe to us? Yeah, I heard it. It sounded like you know, what I was talking about electrical. It sounded like static electricity, like a buzzing, like an electrical, like a transformer almost. It sounded like it was above me, and there was nothing above me. I was in an open field, clear sky, and for the love of God, I couldn't tell where it was coming from, but I could tell the ground was vibrating. The ground had a little uh, tremble to it, and it just stayed like that, and it was like that for about two hours, and then it just stopped, and it was dead quiet, no crickets or nothing. That's weird. That's weird. It was a weird thing. I sat there and was tripping out. I'm like, what is going on? I stuck pencils in the ground. I was digging little holes. I was doing little experiments, running around, doing my thing. Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. And so is this the only time it's ever happened to you? Uh, stuff like this happens to me a lot, more than it should. Okay, I see. So, so it's like that. We're talking about how people are picked out, like certain things will follow certain people. I end up having weird shit like that happen to me all the time. Okay, uh, please, no, no S words on the radio. Uh, so, okay, okay, so the, the thing is this, though, like, I've heard this before, too, not just in this capacity, but in, in other things, that once you open your reality to a particular thing, it, it seems to find its way back to you again. Uh, and they, they talk about this with sometimes with UFOs and other things, right? Once you have like a abduction experience type thing, uh, it, it returns uh, because it's been now now cra- Let's say, for lack of a better term, now your rea- reality has been cracked open to the experience. Uh, do you think that's part of what's going on? Know, now? Once, you, once you notice like it once. Watching you not- Sorry, go ahead. It's like it's watching you now that you notice it's there. Okay. All right. So it is. It is something like that. So now, now once once you're aware of it, it's also aware of you in some capacity. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like this, this stuff is a. Uh, it's 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 out there for me. So I'm. I have a hard time. Clearly, we're yeah, talking no, about I, the nature. Well, the no, rabbit hole goes deep, and it's just so out there. You can talk about it for days and still not understand it. It's like they say: the more you know, the less you know. Yeah. No, I can definitely buy that. Uh, but what I'm saying is it's, it's hard for me to wrap around in my reality breaking of reality. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one, tough one to stomach, tough one to wrap your mind around. That's all. So, wow, the crazy stuff. Here. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. See, I've always been good with uh, physics, with experimental physics and stuff like uh, the paradox is how people can get their mind lost in a paradox. I can sit there and I will do hallucinogenics. And I will be able to solve stuff. Normal people will lose their mind and they'll go insane. And I can be put in that, take hallucinogenics, and find my way out of it like a maze. Like they say, that quiet room, if you stay in it for so long, you'll go crazy. If you put me in that and gave me some hallucinogenics, I would come out of that room even smarter than I was before. Okay. For a better okay. understanding of what's going on around me. I see. So it's uh, definitely raising the level of consciousness to uh, to new new yeah. degrees. Yeah. All right. All right. So my consciousness level as far as I can go without it harming me. Okay. Yeah. Please don't. So so then, uh, how about this? So we're talking about uh, grinding metal sounds, horns, these booms, and other sounds. Is it? Are these the same things, or, or are some of these different? Some of them's technology, and some of them's energy. Okay, so it is. It, we are talking about different things here, depending on what sound and where they're happening and things like this. Okay, all right. But they're making the same thing. Okay. It's basically like we engineered a biological copy of it. But I can't sit here and tell you what exactly it is. Gotcha, gotcha. No, yeah. I- I understand. I understand. Okay. We got a call behind you, so we got a roll, man, but I appreciate it. Uh, first time caller, right? Uh, you've been listening to the show for a long time, but it's the first time you're calling in. And I've been wanting to call for years. Right on. Right on. Uh, thank you for listening. Thanks for all the great chat, and uh, thanks for thanks for the call tonight. I'm going to talk about more topics. So someone asked me about ley lines. 
Ley lines is something I've been working on and been looking up the Adams calendar vortex about any gravity. And I believe I'm on the verge. If I could get the funding and research in my own lab and stuff, I could make any gravity technology. Nice. Okay. Hey, uh, if you, if you, uh, Hey, uh, please, please post uh, where, where you're doing your work. If you can in the, in the chat, I appreciate it. I got to go though, man. We got a call behind you. Uh, thank you, Justin, for the call. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Are you good? Can I call later? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, call after uh, the third hour. You're good to go. Okay, dokie. All right. Thanks, bro. We'll talk to you awesome. soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. That's, uh, that's Justin from North Carolina. I've been listening to the show for a very long time. I see him on Facebook there. Uh, let's go to uh, Robert in uh, Pennsylvania as well. What's happening, my friend? Robert, you're on Trouble Minds with Mike. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, what do you think about the weird sounds in this guy? Well, I'll tell you. It's probably something quite simple. And it's not something I think anybody's brought up tonight. And it's, it's it, the Earth is heating up. And while it's heating up, methane is being released into the atmosphere. All right? Methane is what you toot out of your butt. All right? And I, every once in a while, the methane builds up such a point and it hits some static and then it makes that sound all right everything including the earth passes gas and that's nothing but the earth farting or the sky farting due to methane and reaching the you know being uh, ignited I, I wouldn't say ignited but it reaches it reaches some turbulence or some static and it builds up in the atmosphere and it makes that noise. It makes it can make all kinds of sound, just like you can when you're passing gas. Right? You have boom, and you have boom. All right, that's what's going on up there. Okay, all right, I'm with you. So, so the Earth is uh, going through some changes, and it's uh, it's just kind of uh, passing some gas metaphorically. <laughs> I like it, man. Oh, well, it is. It's methane. Okay. All right. Uh, as as uh, as the as the ice melts. All right, it's releasing methane gas that was tri- that's been frozen for thousands of years under the glaciers. But as they're as they're melting, that methane's being released. Matter of fact, there's a huge methane sinkhole uh, somewhere up uh, in the, around the Ukraine somewhere that's that's releasing methane gas. Is pouring it out of there, um, and, and it just makes. It, I, I'm not saying I I know that answer because I don't. All right, like you said, all right, we're just figuring, thinking a little bit about what what it could be and making a good guess, and my guess is that it's methane gas. I like the guess, man. I like the guess. Everything doesn't have to be woo-woo. We could uh, we could have uh, reasonable explanations for these things, and I, I appreciate that stuff, too. It's more of a just kind of throwing an idea out there, and I like it. I, I can't I can't refute what you got to say because uh, the earth is changing for sure. I think we all feel it, right? Kind of like that uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, it, you feel it in the air. It's just something is not the same like it used to be. So uh, that could very well be it. Very well be it. And it's nothing, and it's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, no, no, right. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I, I'm, I'm more of the uh, let's be fearless. <laughs> Definitely. Be fearless. I mean, it's just like I said. Um, it just seems to me the simplest explanation for it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's uh, that's exactly what we like to hear. Robert, you know the music means we got to go. I appreciate the phone call, my friend. Okay. Uh, Talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks a lot, Robert from Pennsylvania. Good stuff. I think I think that's uh, that's where we got to put our minds sometimes too. Is is there a reasonable explanation for these things? Uh, that's that's what we're that's what we're on about. Is this these strange booms in the sky, horns, hums, metal grinding sounds? What in the world is going on? Is it reasonable? Is it something more woo woo or exotic? That's what we're talking about tonight, and we're taking your phone calls at 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. Don't go anywhere. More Troubled Minds after the break.
Welcome back to Troubled Minds. I am your host, Michael Strange, and we are talking about strange sounds in the sky. Trumpets, booms, humming sounds, metal grinding. Do you have any idea what this stuff is? If you do, I'd love to hear from you. We are streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and DLive. We are broadcasting live on the Fringe FM, and we're taking your phone calls. 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. It's more important for me to hear what you have to say because my theories, one, are pretty weak, and two, a lot of this stuff is over my head. So if you guys can uh, help me make sense of the world around me, well, you're not just helping me. I think you're helping many people out there. So keep those fantastic calls coming, guys, and uh, let's go. Let's do this. we got a phone call on deck. We're going to go straight to it. All right, so that's what's on deck tonight. That's what we're talking about, and why we're doing this is because it's troubled minds. <laughs> that's why we do it. If you like weird conversations, you are in the right place. Let's go to, uh, I'm not sure, I think this is Matt in California. What's up, my friend? You're on Troubled Minds. How are you? Good. How's it going, Mike? Oh, I'm doing good. I guess right. You have a new phone number there, or at least it came up different. Anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, what's on your mind tonight about this weird sounds in the sky? Do you think there's a ritual element to this? Do you think it's some sort of hidden technology or something else entirely? Oh, well, I'm going to be real fast because um, I've never heard it. Okay. And what I'm trying to get is um, trying to throw theories out there. Hopefully um, some other people that have heard it can call in. Um, but I'm just saying, um, you know, I heard the YouTube videos. I've seen the YouTube videos and heard it on there, and it, it's kind of scary. I don't because I don't know what it is. I think that's what makes it scary is we don't know what it is. So we're just theory, specu- uh, speculation, speculate, speculating. Um, but I like the whole, you know, it could be methane gas, it could be a natural thing. That's awesome, right? It just could be something natural, and we're talking about this for no reason. Or you know, all the other theories like um, the night soccer has some good stuff about portal magic and stuff like that, like that. And then um, there's all kinds of things. Like if you want to go there, the biblical thing uh, was there like, I don't know if it's a biblical thing, but it was like, there's like seven seals of the apocalypse, something like that, where the seven seals have to be broken in order for like the four horsemen of the apocalypse to come. So that's a, you know, always throwing out the doomsday stuff. <laughs> but um, also I saw, <laughs> I saw a um, documentary on this a long time ago with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan did a show on this. If you guys want to look it up, we, or I can um, find it for we can post it in Discord. And uh, he was talking about it was like a weather, um, like a weather, some sort of weather control. And the government is like using weather to like, you know, control things. And then it's getting like a backlash. That energy has to go somewhere. And that's what, these, that's what people are hearing or seeing these, um, like they call them skyquakes. And uh, there's, like, a village of people. They were, like, getting attacked by it. They were, like, getting smacked down. Like, they would wake up on the ground. They wouldn't know what it is. It was, like, a vibration, like, hits them from the sky. And Joe Rogan, he was out there, you know, doing, being Joe Rogan. (laughs) Silly. (laughs) So there's that, too. We can look at at that. But, yeah, I hope, um, I just want to throw some things out there, and I hope that um, people that have heard it can call in and tell their stories. I appreciate it. Because it's it's interesting. It's interesting just because we don't know what it is. Exactly. Uh, so I, I do know the term skyquake, and, and I was going to get to that, actually. And, and there's, some, there's some theories regarding that, including, just like you said, the, the uh, modifying weather, that type of phenomena. So if that's really going on, then uh, I, think, I think that kind of falls under the hidden technology, right? Under that umbrella. So uh, I'm open to all these things. That you never know. Like I said, uh, like, like you said, it's a compelling conversation because we really don't know. And so uh, I appreciate the phone call, my friend. Anything else while we got you on? Nope, I uh, think you might have a night. Thanks. That's, uh, that's, there you go, Matt from California. Simple as that. So, yeah, I'm not going to bite. It's okay. We're, we're not here. Uh, again, I understand like, that the entire, the entire media landscape has turned into just a, just a big uh, you know, poo-flinging crap show. Well, that's not what we're trying to do here. We're just, we're just trying to get together and have a conversation and talk about some strange things sometimes. I mean, this is, we talk about UFOs for crying out loud. We talk about all kinds of stuff. And so these bizarre sounds in the sky uh, or wherever they're coming from, the ground, right? I think we 
got some some compelling uh, uh, theories with you know maybe underground bases are causing a lot of these sounds that people just don't hear. I mean, we've seen some of these sinkholes and other things that like have these just ridiculous, uh, just you know, like in Florida, just just this huge like perfect circle sinkhole that just destroys like houses or roads or anything, right? Uh, so so who knows? Like who knows what's really going on underground? And I think that's that's part of this conversation is what kind of technology is happening with this and uh, all the rest. I I don't really know. I don't know. Again, uh, we'll, we'll get into some of this and see what the scientists say uh, on this uh, fantastic website I found. Yeah, but again, like uh, if if you think this is a bunch of BS, it's cool. I encourage you to just go go do a, a few simple searches of mysterious booms, mysterious humming, mysterious horns. Just do those three searches, and you'll see it's an unbelievable amount of things out there where people are reporting this stuff. And just just here in the chat, people have said they've heard them. Like uh, uh, people have said they've heard horns in the chat tonight, humming, metal grinding, all these things. Right. So so this is what I'm talking about. Like this seems to be a an actual thing. This is not uh, this is not kind of a you know put put everything together as a as a joke or you know as, as you know something that is is you know fooling us i mean maybe it is but uh, i don't know anyway so let's go let's go back to this uh, this website mysterybooms.com now this is fantastic right so they're actually uh, going through this and uh discussing these weird sounds on the sky on this website so let me pull this up and just uh give you a a quick a quick overview of what they're talking about right so so not only that we've got the uh so there's uh uh, it's got it's got history, recent reports, possible causes here, and there's there's some causes, right? They're talking about uh, a few popular theories. Here we go regarding this. Now, let's read just a little bit of this. So noises of unexplained origin have been reported for centuries in various parts of the world, periodically with the prevalence of mystery boom reports that appear in the media. A number of theories have been offered as explanations for the phenomenon. Among these, earthquakes and similar seismic events, such as frost quakes, remain among the more popular theories that involve natural phenomena. Now, remember, where we started tonight was this story in... India, all right? And not only did the Air Force in India deny it had, had anything to do with them, they actually had like a, a seismological, uh, scientific, whatever the department there is called, it's in the article here, uh, it, say no, that we didn't detect any earthquakes whatsoever. There was no tremors, there was no anything. So we, so we, you know, we have now the two probably most obvious explanations for a boom like this are both written written off. I mean, of course, the Air Force, you know, in India could be lying, but you know, there's always that, right? We always gotta, we always gotta consider the government may be lying. <laughs> so, so all right, here we go, here we go. So among the possible causes, man-made sources behind some of the phenomena have also been suggested. For instance, sonic booms resulting from various kinds of aircraft have also been proposed particularly following news articles in the UK, which made the case for secret aviation technologies toward the end of 2014. And this is like, this one seems more plausible to me because I, you know, we have secret, secret aircraft out there doing some things, right? Testing some things. And, and they say, oh, they don't test these in residential areas. Well, how the hell would you know how they perform like sound wise if you don't test them in residential areas, right? I don't know. I, anyway, so here we go. So number one, straight from the article here, again, this is mysterybooms.com. Check out the website. Fantastic stuff. It will always be linked in my sources down below, and I'm going to link it right now as well just so you guys can see what I'm looking at and see that I'm not making this stuff up. This stuff actually happens out there. Do a quick search, and you will see there's an unbelievable amount of things that happened. Recently, San Diego's got a bunch of these things that just went down. Uh, it's uh, it's Who knows what this could be? Who knows what this could be? Uh, let's see. Can I just slap this into uh, – is this fringe? No. Let's go to the fringe chat. All right. There it is. There we go. All right. So so I don't know. Like, again, I, this is not the answer show. This is the question show. What is this stuff? They're saying specifically pulse detonation engines employed by various top-secret military aircraft were proposed – where which an aerospace expert compared with recordings of certain unexplained sounds made around the time. Uh, other theories for the sounds have included meteorites or even a Russian satellite falling to Earth. Well, it happens all over the damn place, so I, I don't think there's enough Russian satellites falling to Earth to, to account for all of this that we've seen. Like I said, I've got tabs and tabs and tabs here of like uh, uh, different different things going down. Like here, just for instance, let's throw this out there. Uh, strange sounds, mysterious booms and rumblings heard and felt across San Diego County 
for the third time in 2021. Going to link this as well so you guys can check it out and see I'm not making this stuff up. Just a quick search will show you that this stuff is actually happening out there. And uh, again, what it means, I don't know. I don't know. Is it uh, weird ritual stuff? Is it uh, top secret uh, uh, military stuff? Is it uh, weather modification? Whatever the heck's going on, who knows? Is it, like they're describing here, pulse detonation engines in secret aircraft? Secret aviation technologies. Who knows? So here we go. So here's Ed. Below, uh, again on this website, possible causes of these mystery booms. Below, we offer a complete listing of different proposed explanations for mystery booms reported in various parts of the world with links to pages that discuss them. And you'll see how deep this rabbit hole goes of the different uh, things trying to make sense of this. It, it, this continues. It remains likely, however, that more than uh, any one supposed explanation would be required in order to explain the broader number of incidents constituting data we have about these phenomena. This is basic on the expectation that a number of factors must be considered in relation to each of the supposed mystery boom and treated as uh, to proper scrutiny on a case by case for case basis. Also, in many cases, simpler explanations such as fireworks, exploding transformers, gunfire, and other prosaic sources cannot be ruled out. So, I, and I think this is a, this is this is smart. I mean, you gotta you gotta approach these things with uh, you know uh, one one foot in the real world, kind of like I always say is a uh, it's a, it's one thing to kind of go off on a on a on a tangent uh, with with the. The theories, but I think that uh, some of these sometimes we we're, we outsmart ourselves. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes we we tend to uh, maybe miss some obvious uh, conclusions here. And like Robert said, maybe it is the methane. Maybe it's uh, somebody said fracking. Is there fracking going on in the areas uh, deep underground bases? Things like this. Maybe some of the most obvious are really what's going on. But here's here's a list. Uh, again, we're taking your phone calls, talking about these strange noises in the sky. And uh, let's see, let's put up the phone number one more time. And we're taking your phone calls. We've got time for you. If you've got a story to tell us regarding some of this, a theory you have, or any of the rest of this, 702-957-1037. That's 702-957-1037. Troubledminds.org is the official website. Click the Discord link and uh, get your ass in here. Let's talk about all kinds of weird stuff. All right, so here's some, uh, a few popular theories Okay, that uh, about the cause of mystery booms include the following. Super bolts and upper atmosphere storms. Okay, which would be, of course, a uh, a uh, you know a reasonable explanation. It's it's uh, something to do with the Earth and the cycles and the weather and the this and the that. That's okay, right? That's okay. That, that could be. Uh, here's another one: frost quakes or cryo. Uh, what's that? Cryosisms. Cryosisms. A a geological perspective. Again, there's some links here. I'm going to drop the links in as I'm talking about these because uh, you never know. You, you never know what the heck's going on with this. Um, actually, it's all on the same site here. So it's uh, sonic booms and mystery aircraft, kind of what we're talking about. That seems plausible to me because um, we've had some instances here in Las Vegas. I live not too far from Nellis Air Force Base. And as you guys know, uh, just north of Nellis, kind of to the northwest a little bit, is actually Area 51. Like Area 51 is a couple hour drive from my house, about two and a half hours. And you can literally walk up to the gate. You can be right up in the gate at, out there in Rachel, Nevada. And uh, they're they're testing some stuff out there. Like we've had um, instances like, oddly enough, now here's the weird part, right? It like most of the times when something weird flies over where there's a weird sound, it's usually at like 3 a.m., 3, 4 a.m., something like that, right? So like it's really late. So, you know, people can't see it, right? It's going to be dark if you see anything that's kind of a light flashing, but we'll just be chilling, right? Because I'm, I'm up late. I'm, I'm a night owl, and I'm working late usually to putting things together for the show and whatnot. And uh, the, the house will start like this really low vibrational rattle, just kind of like, like, what the hell is that? And the dog will perk up and like start looking around like crazy. And uh, sometimes it wakes up Mrs. Strange. And so it's like, it's like, wait, what the hell's going on here? What's what? Is, is happening and I've, I've done it where I've been in the middle of something and I just run out and try and go outside to see what the hell I'm looking at but they're testing some stuff they're definitely testing things and they do it in such a manner where they don't want you to see what's going on and it, you know what better time to kind of roll through a neighborhood and shake the place up with who knows like I doubt I doubt again like we've said that they've been uh, trying to kind of uh, like uh, minimize sonic booms because you want aircraft to be quiet in a military setting, right? You don't, you don't want to announce to the world you're showing up. You want to be quiet. 
So if they're flying through and basically the neighborhood shaking, and that's what's going on, like it's literally like this low rumble. Like it, it's hard to describe if you've never experienced it, but it happens sometimes. And when it happens, let's say it happens at three thirty in the morning, it'll happen again like thirty minutes later, and then thirty minutes after that again. And so you catch me running outside early in the morning trying to see what's going on. But usually there's cloud cover. Usually uh, it's dark enough to where I can't pinpoint where the sound's coming from. I don't know. There you go. Uh, Night Stalker wants to know, would they tell us if superheroes are flying around? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I like the way you think, though. All right. So there you go. Mi- you know, sonic booms and mystery aircraft. So this is not the same thing, clearly. But my point is that I don't think... Oh, and you know what's another weird thing that I've seen, uh, again, flying around out here, is regular-looking jets. Like, you you wouldn't expect this, but it's like regular military aircraft that are not loud. They're, you know, they're kind of quiet. They might be stealth, actually, right? And the only reason you hear them is because they're sending these tones, right? And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating here, like, like a boop, like that kind of tone, right? And it's, they're sending it out, like audibly, into the air, And you hear it, and I haven't heard this actually for quite some time. And I did have a recording of this, but my uh, I had the iPad that I ran out and got a recording of, and the the iPad has since died. So unfortunately, I didn't get the the audio off of that sucker. But they they were at least two or three aircraft in the sky sending these tones back and forth to each other, almost like they were communicating with or or i don't know what were they doing were they sending tones down into neighborhoods to do exactly what anyway my point my point being is there's probably a lot of really nefarious stuff going on that really doesn't get a lot of uh, a lot of attention because clearly they don't want it to get attention so so anyway uh, what's up what's up how is everybody is that uh uh oh it's it's ash has showed up now i'm in trouble Now I've done it. All right. So anyway, we're talking about these strange sounds, right? These strange sounds in the sky, whether they're sonic booms or whether they're, you know, maybe metal grinding from a deep underground base or whatever the heck is really going on with this. I don't know. I don't have answers to these things, but I have seen some crazy stuff in the sky here living in Vegas just a couple hours from Area 51 out here at Nellis Air Force Base. And there's there's a lot, right? There's a lot going on that uh, I don't know. The world is a large and mysterious place, let's say. So here we go. So uh, this, this is, again, is from mysterybooms.com, more possible causes. And like I said, if you don't believe this stuff is happening, just do a quick, quick search uh, on the Internet. You will find an unbelievable amount of reports going on with this stuff. So here we go. So uh, a couple other ones, other phenomena that may be related to reports of mysterious noises around the world. Anomalous sounds in nature cataloged by William R. Corliss, right? Just completely natural sounds. Uh, are booms linked to climate change? And there you go. There's another one. That's exactly what Robert was saying. Maybe it's like the methane gas situation that's happening as everything warms up. Maybe the planet is kind of making croaking noises or, uh, you know, a flatulations, as you would ex- describe, from, the, from the, the earth or whatever's going on. I don't know. And then here's another one. Exploding head syndrome, a psychological perspective. And this one is uh, actually describing what? Like <laughs> uh, mass hallucination, hallucinations uh, is calling us crazy. <laughs> What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? I see you there in the chat. Yeah. So so I don't know. Like, like again, we've got time for you. We got a few more minutes left on French here. If you guys want to uh, tell us what you think these things are, these, these strange sounds. Uh, again, people in the chat have said they've heard horns blaring like randomly out there in the sky uh people have said they've heard metal grinding in the chat people have said they've heard uh uh, i actually haven't seen anybody that said they've heard these particular booms so i don't know Uh, i don't know there's a a lot here to really consider and think about had some fantastic theories tonight but uh i i don't know what they are i don't know um let's see what else do we got who else is out there let's see uh You guys in the chat crack me up. Okay. Anyway, uh, so so that's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Let's uh, let's burn through a couple more articles here of just just some ideas. Uh, this is from Gaia.com, and here's some more um, some more theories, right? And and some things, you know, like th- this is the type of stuff that, uh, like like Matt said, we really don't know the answers to all these questions, but uh, at least we have at least we have some questions. I think that's the that's the bottom line here, worth talking about, worth thinking about, and uh, at least at least getting together, having a good time. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Tim says maybe you're being secretly microwaved where you are, Mike. Dear Lord, I hope not. Please no. <laughs> please don't. Please don't do that to me. 
Uh, there we go. This is from Gaia.com. Mysterious booms heard around the world leaving people perplexed, right? So uh, though reports of mysterious booms have not been broadcast on national television, which notably there aren't, they aren't, stories of them have been echoing through a network of communities. The penetrating sounds have been heard all times of the day and night, and residents of areas impacted have flooded 911 dispatches as well as local television and radio stations with accounts of being scared out of bed and trying to get to the bottom of whatever it is that's disturbing the peace and setting off car alarms. And uh, yeah, yeah, interesting stuff here. Um, got uh, got links coming in. I appreciate that, Penny. I see you there. We'll grab the link and pull it up for the third hour. And uh, we're just doing our thing. We're talking about weird stuff tonight. We're talking about these bizarre sounds that uh, are are known to happen the world over, and it, it goes back a, a long time, right? It goes back a long time. Here's another one. This is from the San Diego Union Tribune. And guess what? Yep, that's right. It's uh, what's causing those weird trumpet noises in the sky. Yep, yep. Can you believe that? Trumpet noises. Of all things, right? So it's not just, like I was describing, uh, just sonic booms of, of a sort. It's, uh, it's all this other stuff. The hums, the trumpets. Uh, is this, again, the seven seals? Is this a biblical thing? Like I said, the only reason I don't talk a lot about that is because I'm very ignorant when it comes to Scripture. So that's why I don't bring that stuff up, because I'll just, like I said, sound even more knucklehead than I already sound. So it's okay. But, but here we go. I don't know. This stuff is weird, right? So just real quick, uh, have you heard of those weird apocalyptic trumpet like noises coming from the sky people all over the world say they have so what are they and yep the short answer is nobody knows so there's an article that we're uh, looking at and talking about and just considering all these things is it uh, is it natural maybe is it not also maybe and uh, I think, uh, as we know, finishing this up, uh, we don't have answers here. This is not the answer show. Or else I'd just tell you the answers, and uh, <laughs> that would be that. That would be that. So as we finish this up tonight, uh, just to let you know, we are doing Fringe FM and Troubled Minds Monday through Thursday now. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. And uh, we'll be on before uh, Joe Roop lighting the void, of course, which stay tuned for him coming up next on Fringe. And uh, as usual, we're going to do an extra, uh, some extra time I don't know if it's going to be a full hour, but we'll be uh, still streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and DLive for at least maybe another 30 minutes or so. And uh, if, as long as you guys keep calling, we'll keep doing the show. So uh, that's the thing. I got a few more articles to get to, which we, which we will. But at the end of this, it, I think it just comes down to uh, more mysteries, right? And it could be technology. It could be natural causes. It could be, it could be a ton of things. And as part of that, that's what we do on this show. Uh, consider all the, all the weirdness out there. And um, I hope you enjoy the conversation. I hope that uh, you'll be back for more. Like I said, we'll be back tomorrow night, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And uh, now Mondays, of course, and talking about more weird stuff. So uh, that's the deal. That's what's going on. And as we finish this up, let's see, where are we at time-wise? I think we're good. I think we're right on track. All right, so here's the deal. If you guys like the show, please help us out. Spread the word. Spread the word and uh, let, let people know there are some good conversations happening out there where we don't just fling poo at each other politically. It's uh, what a waste of time, uh, these, these knucklehead political arguments that just go back and forth for no reason. All they want to do is divide us. There's, there's a thousand other ways to communicate, and we should be working on that instead. And uh, hopefully that's what we're doing here. So, yeah, at the end, I don't know the answer to these questions, uh, and we're going to keep asking them because if you don't think about it, you don't know about it, uh, these reports are all over the place of these weird sounds in the sky. You tell me. What are they? I leave it up to you. You think about it. Get back to me because, of course, this is an ongoing conversation. God willing, we've got tomorrow. And at the end of this, you know the drill. You know the drill. Thank you for listening to all that good stuff. Thanks for hanging out with us. I know you could be doing a million other things, and you're listening to us right now. So let me tell you this. Be sure. Be strong. Be true. If you're listening on the Fringe FM, stay tuned for Joe Roof Lighting the Void. If you're listening on Facebook, D Live, and YouTube, hang around for some bonus time troubled minds. Thank you for listening. From our troubled minds to yours, have a great night.
Does it sound like two minutes? I feel like two minutes. I think it may. All right, let's go. We got a, uh, let's see. All right, we, we actually have a, uh, a, a video here from Penny, actually. Penny sharing a video. Uh, so I'm going to link it back in the chat and, and just to make sure everybody gets a, a link to this. I guess uh, Penny beat me to this one, <laughs> which doesn't surprise me at all. But uh, yeah, it, oddly enough, uh, this is, this is kind of one, uh, one of those shows that's been requested for quite some time now that, uh, you know, do, do, the, do the, the trumpet sounds or the noises in the sky and uh, just so many other things kind of uh, keep coming through and, uh, you know, uh, pushing this to the back. So here we are. Here we are. We got an extra day uh, on uh, Fringe and on everything else. So we got we got some time to do this and dialing up the phone line again because it just dropped. But uh, if you want to be part of the show, we're taking your phone calls. And as long as you're interested and want to talk about this, we will uh, continue. But if not, got about 30 minutes left or so. And i uh, going to go through just some of this article here, uh, San Diego Tribune dot com. And this is this is interesting that. Uh, that you know, uh, th- it doesn't get a lot of play. It doesn't get a lot of play. These weird sounds in the sky, okay, uh, and not just uh, not just the 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 booms, right? The booms uh, probably easier explanations, right? Easier explanations is uh, you know b- the booms, uh, whatever they are. But these weird trumpet sounds. Uh, this this becomes something else entirely, doesn't it? As something else. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. Actually, uh, here we go. So we got my friend recorded this during my live stream. All right. So let's uh, we'll put this up and we'll talk about this in just a sec too. Thank you, Penny, for the the links there. And uh, phone numbers up. You guys want to be part of the show? Seven zero two nine five seven one zero three seven. And uh, let's see. What do we got? We got that. We got this. We got. Uh, let's see. All right. So here's a uh, uh, thank you. This is kind of what I was looking for. Some actual good sounds of. Uh, some uh, some strange noises coming from the sky. So this is the link from uh, Thank You Penny for sharing this with me. I'm uh, dropping it in the chat, and we're gonna keep on trucking here. Keep on trucking here. But what's up? What's up with the noises in the sky? The horns, the the booms, the hums, uh, whatever the heck is going on here. I have no idea. I have no idea. I think that's why we uh, why we end up uh, uh, discussing this because I have no idea. <laughs> I just have no clue. All right, here we go. Let's listen to this. This is from Penny, and she says uh, somebody sent this to her that they recorded the strange noise coming from the sky. Let's play this action. <laughs> Okay, you hear that? That's very faint, but that's, that sounds like a, a horn or a... Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very distinct. You can hear it. You can hear it. I, I put the link in the chat if you guys want to check it out. So so uh, I don't know. Like uh, that, that sounds like a horn to me of sorts. And uh, it sounds, it almost sounds like, like, you know, like a, a foghorn or something you might hear on the water or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's the weird stuff that uh, when you hear something like that in particular, it kind of changes your mind, doesn't it? It, it might change your mind about some of these uh, weird, weird, weird things. Uh, let's see. Uh, Angel Wing says, uh, Giants, there I've heard. I've heard, uh, let's see. I've heard a lot, but I know I'm still learning hard to find more on it. Yeah, I, I think that's part of it, right? Uh, uh, what's up? Shamanic says, that sounds like a singing bowl. It kind of, except... It was clearly from, it seemed to be far away, right? It didn't seem like it was close to them at all. It seemed like it was maybe maybe kind of out there. Uh, Penny says, Jack hears this all the time. And, and so, yeah, that's what we're talking about. So there's actually a good sound. I, I've been trying to find a good a good sound to this to, to kind of get us, uh, get us whatever the heck is going on here because I, I don't know. But here we go again, right? This is uh, from uh, December 2020. What's that? Mysterious booms shake Tucson area again. And, and this, this continues to happen in different parts of the world. I think that's, that's the craziest part. Um, so here we go. Uh, Dropping this in the chat, and you guys can check out some of these links. But uh, again, we're taking your phone calls. If you want to be part of the show, 702-957-1037. And let's see. Let's get back to that uh, that weird trumpet sound okay let's read some of this article and then we'll keep on trucking uh so the the latest video now here interestingly this this video was taken down on youtube but uh the latest video of the mystery comes from germany and was posted to youtube last month in it the puzzled photographer sticks a camera out the window as a woman asks in german what is that in the background is heard a metallic type groaning sound coming from the sky as if someone just put the key in the ignition of a large invisible 
close encounters of the third guy type of vehicle starting up, right? Like UFO. Uh, the video is all the more eerie because a young boy is standing motionless in the street as the noise amplifies. Now, sadly, uh, let's uh, get the URL to this video and we can share it. <laughs> you guys can see that this is uh, it was taken down. Uh, I don't know if it was removed from YouTube or if uh, whoever put it up hit it. But here is the actual video unavailable. I don't know. I have no idea. Here we go. So link it in the chat and you guys can check it out if you prefer uh, and see where this came from. Uh, maybe it's a hoaxer channel. I don't know. And I think that's part of this, right? Like, uh, like I was saying, I'm, I'm a little suspicious of channels that can, can make audio artifacts because I can make audio artifacts. <laughs> I can, I can fake some of this stuff and, uh, you know, make it probably seem pretty compelling, right? If you're good with audio, it's not that hard. Um, so here we go. Uh, this is, this is other weird stuff, right? Uh, from Omaha, from San Diego, from, uh, this one's from Germany. I mean, it's weird. This stuff's weird. Horns in the sky, sonic booms. You tell me, you tell me, I have no idea what to think of this other than, uh, it's, it's, uh, it confuses me. So, uh, we are taking your phone calls. If you want to be part of the show, like I said, uh, I've already done a new show tonight, so we're not going to go too late. Uh, we'll do a uh, you know few minutes, few more minutes here. If nobody calls, then we'll we'll just shut it down. So taking your phone calls tonight. If you want the show to continue, there you go. That's how that's how that's how you blackmail everybody. You say, all right, if nobody calls, the show's over. Seven zero two nine five seven one zero three seven. That's seven zero two nine five seven one zero three seven. Troubledminds dot org and uh, get in here. Love to hear your take on this. Let's see what else do we got? Uh, what's up, Chili Bunny? Thanks for showing up. What's up, Mister Mission Control? How are you? Uh, Shamanic says a 1973 report mentions a university study of 50 cases of people complaining about a low throbbing background noise that others were unable to hear. And I think I think that's the thing, too, is that is that is this kind of like one of those situations where uh, maybe we get into some MK Ultra type conversations, right? A little bit of that. Is this uh, maybe something where they're able to trigger Maybe a sound in your head that other people do or don't hear, things like this maybe. I mean, I'm open to those things too because uh, clearly, like I've said in the past, MKUltra is definitely real. But uh, as of as of what uh, what how much how big I I don't know I don't know what to tell you. Uh, okay, got a couple calls coming in. I see you there, Kelly. We're going to go to Paul real quick, and then we'll go to you. Uh, what's up, guys? Thanks for hanging out. Let's go to uh, Paul in New Hampshire. What's up, my friend? You're on Trouble Lines. What's on your mind tonight? Hey, Mike. Can you hear me? All right. Loud you're a little, clear, you're a little scratchy there. Loud and clear, sir. Go right ahead. Yeah, I'm, I got a bad connection. I don't know if it's me or you, but um, yeah, kind of. You know, I gotta say, kind of cool. Some of the stuff I've seen. I mean, this has been a few cool videos, um, but I've seen them. You know, really weird trumpets. You know, you know, you know it, it, do I think that it's the, the you know? I saw a couple of comments at the four horsemen and end times. I don't know, man. Um, but I also know too a lot of the booms and stuff living in New England. We're down in a high earthquake area, and then you have, uh, you know, when you're making highways and stuff, and there, you know, a lot of blasting going on here and there. So you hear that once in a while. But I, I've heard an earthquake a couple of times. That was just this really weird, you know, boom. And then sure enough, later on the news in the day, or you know. The next day, following that, it will wind up being an earthquake or something. I think some of it might be explained that way. But, you know, then you get the weird sounds that are happening. And, you know, and it, I, I thought I went to this path where I was thinking of the stuff that I saw about some of these birds. It was way around the time that you had these giant holes showing up in Siberia. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but, I mean, these were like giant holes in the in the ground that looked like somebody had taken a drill, you know, and it wasn't like an explosion of that were like, you know, the holes were, were literally, uh, you know, 150 to 200 feet across or comforts and, and 50, 70, a hundred feet down right to the crust of the earth that led to these giant caverns. And they just popped up out of nowhere. There were people out there studying this stuff. And that was right at the same time. Anyway, I'm calling it a stretch, but you know, maybe you know, maybe we had some aliens up there flying around, drilling holes with their machines, checking out the Earth's core, and uh, you know, maybe it's a correlation. But I don't know. Just uh, food for thought on this subject. Yeah, I appreciate the theory. Uh, Robert was actually uh, kind, of, kind of maybe describing something similar when he called in earlier, saying that it's uh, it has to do with global warming or climate change or something like this and methane. And so, uh, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know. Uh, 
unopened to that stuff, of course, we're, we got to consider all the possibilities here. So uh, if it's natural, maybe. If it's not, maybe. That's fine, too. But uh, I do remember the, the holes in Siberia that you're talking about, and those things were absolutely massive. And so, and again, as far as I'm aware, they really hadn't determined what caused that because it looked like it may have been drilled, just like you said, like a really huge, like boring company type uh, Elon Musk situation where it just drilled a hole straight into the ground, several of them even. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, definitely good stuff. Have you ever heard any of this in, in, your, uh, in your lifetime or known anybody that heard any kind of weird sounds on this guy? Hey, you know, I, I'm having a really hard time hearing you. You're completely, everything you're saying is breaking up. I'm trying to get like every other word. So I think you've got a problem with your sound connection. But yeah, I kind of got the jib of what you're saying there. It's just really weird. I think I think it's definitely something we, we get a little more evidence out, look at, and then, you know, put some of these things together. And, you know, could it be the government, DARPA, all these, you know, I, I'm sure you probably mentioned that, the weather control thing that's going on, um, and, you know, there seems to be some evidence for that, and advanced technology. Um, there's so many ways you can go with this, and it just seems like um, there's still, you know, it's always just not enough evidence to go scientifically somewhere. So frustrating because it is really strange, and I've seen a couple of videos and heard some, yeah, it wasn't just one or two people saying this stuff. It was, you know, plenty of people that were recording this and, you know, reports of this coming out of city headlines, the stuff made headlines. So, yeah, but, um, sorry, I can't hear you. So, uh, I'm going to get going. <laughs> hey, and, man, bro. Um, <laughs> Thanks for the call. For the rest of the night. Thanks for the call. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Thanks for the call. That's uh, that's Paul from New Hampshire, New Hampshire UFO hunter. Uh, follow him on YouTube. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what's up with the connection. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, sometimes uh, Google Voice sucks. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and uh, every, you guys get punished for it. But anyway, okay. Yeah, uh, g- good takes on that. Uh, I don't know. I, like, uh, as as you guys know, this is not the answer show, or I just tell you. Uh, Kelly, are you out there? Testing one, too. Hello, hello. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, doing the Monday thing now, and uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. What do you, what do you think about all this weirdness, man? Uh, have you ever heard any strange sounds in the sky? Um, the only thing that I ever really heard is like I was talking earlier, uh, when we were talking about, uh, well, it wasn't earlier, another show, but, uh, an aerial phenomenon is, is, you know, it's, uh, connected with the Aurora Borealis when I lived up in Alaska and, you know, some of the areas, uh, some people that I've talked to, they have been into were, it's, it's more like a, uh, sounds more like a static sound, you know what I mean? The, it's like a crackling you know, it's a, it, you can tell it's an aerial phenomenon that's coming with it, but it's like a it's like a cracking kind of. Uh, it was sound like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a static, like you know, you pull blankets apart and kind of, you know. But as for um, any of that other stuff, you know, I kind of looked into that as well, and you know, you kind of look at some of the areas where these booms are happening. I wouldn't say aerial, but some people think it's coming from underground. But most of them were coming from, at the time, you know, when they were having these mystery ones. But here in the States, anyway, it was um, more localized in the uh, uh, Midwestern area. You know, and there could be a lot of theories that, you know, within that, uh, you know, because they are doing, they were doing fracking, you know, some some of that. It could be that. And in my, in my theory, it's either like uh, some things like that. You know, they're doing area fracking or they're doing underground um, clearing. Because if they were doing uh, di- digging tunnels and stuff, you know, when some of those bore machines only go in like usually in one direction. They can't really, you know, loop around real fast, you know, to go the opposite direction to clear out what they need to. But they would take those bore machines and, you know, in the areas where like, you know, I would say... I'd, I guess a square shape, maybe in some, but some fashion underground. And then they just start clearing it, you know, and that's known too. They were doing in like salt mines, you know, blowing out uh, some walls and stuff like that. Underground mining. It's if you, and it'll also leave a seismic uh, sound, you know, or a seismic um, record, anything that's over, you know, 
United, the United States is, you know, they got those monitoring uh, stations all over the place. So when anything happens like that, you know, if you go to a uh, earthquake website, you know, they'll they'll obviously have monitors on anything over two and above, I believe. But you know, the explosion that size is going to leave some kind of, you know, what I mean, because they even have when the buildings so-called fell or whatever, they have a seismic. You know, they told you, you know, they were telling everybody it was probably like a a two on the Richter scale or a three on the Richter scale or whatever. But yeah, they, you know, something like that, you know, you got to think someone, you know, it could be some logical explanations like that, but aerial phenomenon is what's kind of, what's interesting to me. Cause you know, it's, it's hard to, cause you have all the, uh, you know, you have a, we have a lot of energy build up in, you know, all the stratosphere, atmosphere, ionosphere, and all, you know, that's where, like, Tesla wanted to pull all the energy out of was from the ionosphere down into, you know, the Tesla towers. But with the electricity, something that huge or something that massive is going to have some kind of weird um, sound. But as for some of those videos you're talking about, was is actually pretty interesting because, I mean, the first one's like, the one I, I believe is in the Alps or something like that, or somewhere it was really high in the mountains, and they were recording that. And you know, now we have harp. You know, they're controlling any kind of stuff like that. But the 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 trumpet sounds are pretty interesting. It's you know, for me, it could be like you know, it could be harp. Who knows that? Or you know, you heard biblical stories when you know they say that they heard uh, the the horns of you know. Of the of God or whatever, and you know, in the sky. So maybe this phenomenon is a natural phenomenon because you know it's been talked about throughout the centuries. You know, and maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It could, it could be. It's not like you know. With some of those sounds, I was wondering if anybody record anything else coming out of the sky. You know, like a you know, it could be maybe a cloaked ship or something. I don't know. The one weird one I have heard was even more, it was, you know, because you heard the, the trumpet ones throughout cities or throughout, you know, the the landscapes throughout, you know, the planet. But the weird one I heard was like that one someone else mentioned. It was sounded like, it was sounded literally like a giant machine in the sky. And it was metal grinding, <laughs> like two chunks of metal, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, like. It was said, that's what it sounded like, metal just, boom, just like grinding together. And it wasn't just, you know, like a quick one. It was just a constant sound. I don't know if anybody else heard those ones, but yeah. I don't know, man. You know, it could be, some of them could be natural. Some of them can be like the one in Siberia, like Paul was talking about, you guys were talking about earlier. I mean... The the ground, you know, and there's been people that went down there and investigated. It's not like, so they were looking at the walls of those big holes. And it could be like um, Richard, or uh, I think it is uh, Richard was talking about uh, the, the the methane release from the planet. Because the planet is constantly moving, you know, all the, all the uh, you know, the, the plates scraping across. But if you're having anything like that, that's going to be an earthquake. And they're going to feel something besides that. You're not just going to hear something, I believe. And because and, I've lived in states of, like California and Alaska. And man, I've been through some earthquakes. And that's, uh, you hear sometimes, you hear like a popping sound. And it's more like it sounds like the ground's popping and then boom. You know, I was in a pretty good size one up in Alaska. Yeah, same. I, I grew up in California, as you know, and I, I you know, saw my fair share of earthquakes. And I, I, I don't know. I think it's different. I mean, maybe I never saw one like firsthand big enough. I, I was down there in uh, 89 for that Loma Prieta earthquake. And uh, I was out back playing ball with my brother. And uh, it was it was the day of the World Series game. Remember, they postponed that World Series for that because uh, the, the freeway collapsed. And it was just a huge, huge disaster. And it was weird, right? Because we were out there running and playing and we didn't even notice it. Uh, cause in, in clearly the, like inside, uh, mom and sister were freaking out cause they, the house was shaking, but we were outside, you know, running and chasing the ball and <laughs> didn't even notice the damn thing. And that was a big one. That was a big quake. So, so I don't know, I, like, like that type of thing, 
maybe. I mean, I think uh, again, you know, the maybe juice for all this stuff. But I, I think, I think probably, if I had to make a guess, I think you're right here that we're probably talking about a whole bunch of different things, right? And kind of maybe. Uh, because of the way they get uh, maybe lumped together, strange sounds coming from who knows where. I think maybe that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if kind of the metal grinding and stuff like that, like uh, Derek was saying, is that it's maybe these underground bases and things like this. It would That wouldn't surprise me a single bit. Or, you know, like I said, with the, the, the Area 51 out here in Nellis Air Force Base, those weird kind of really low frequency rumbling sounds when they're kind of flying over, you know, you know, they're not moving too fast. It's almost like they're, they're dragging like an earthquake behind them. You know what I mean? Kind of like that sound. So I don't know, like, I don't know exactly what all of these things are, but I think it's probably wise to maybe uh, divide them up and kind of, uh, uh, take them out, uh, as, as, you know, one, one at a time and kind of try and explain one away type of thing, you know, not to say there's nothing anomalous here, but I, I do think that we're probably talking about several different things. Yeah, um, some of the ones, too, like, uh, I don't know if, uh, I know there's other towns, but there's those one that was, like, I believe in New Mexico, the the constant humming, where it's just a, I mean, that could be, that could be, you know, we started changing a lot of stuff. The You know, human beings started changing a lot of stuff when we started using, you know, radar systems and, uh, you know, any stuff like that, and that's proven, too, like, you know, they could say that you know with with that stuff you know the body has to change with it you know the human body does have to change with any of that electromagnetic fields that are you know that's being produced now so you're going to have those weird humming noise i've had heard some noise like that you know like it sounds like a i don't know to me it sounds more you know it's like a human made noise where it's coming from like a i don't know some electronics in the house i could hear a humming all the time you know, I mean, you can have like some older electronics clocks or whatnot, or microwaves. They have just just plugged in. You know, you could just I I can anyway. They have a weird electrical humming. You know, you could tell that's um, it could be some of that. But um, the booms overhead. You know, like I said, in some of those areas, it was over when like. And it sounds like we were, could be in testing aircraft, you know, a high altitude aircraft could maybe coming into the atmosphere after, you know, it could because that happens when, you know, as, asteroids or something like that. But you'd have to be, that's, those are localized in some areas, you know, that could happen, you know, if people saying they're having that all over the world, you know, usually that could be it, you know, that they're not seeing it, but they're hearing it, you know. Anything like that, where especially in Russia, you could see those um, that uh, asteroid coming in, and you could hear the the boom. Some people just heard the boom, or you could, but usually something that huge is going to cause a flash, and you know, an atmospheric flash, and that could be possibly it. But the, you know, again, with the um, trumpet noises, is what's interesting to me is you know that could be more atmospheric you know, disturbance inside there, but what's creating it is what's interesting because they are, they just sound pretty, you know, there's many different sounds of that, you know, coming in, but those are the ones that are interesting to me. I don't, I don't know. It's some of the booms and like all I said, some of that, the lower ones, it could be things that, you know, cause we're in the United States is not the only ones been building underground bases. You know, especially if they're getting need to get through rock and stuff, they need to really, you know, some of that harder shit down there. To you know, they really need to do something else. Maybe they can't drill through it, so they need to, you know, explosion somehow down there. You know, like I said too, if you can, you, know, you can also Google all that too. Those salt mines that people, you know, that they have in the states, or you know, some of those underground, uh, um, what they call cold storage that they have for the military or the you know, for the United States supply systems, but yeah, those are pretty crazy. I don't know, man, to me, you know, you got to have some of those, if it's, they're claiming it's, uh, natural phenomena, again, it'd be earthquakes for me anyway, because, you know, you're not going to just have the boom by itself. Cause that's, you're talking, you know, earth grinding underneath there and it's going to cause a, some kind of reaction, but back to those, uh, holes like in Siberia, you know, I've seen, you know, they had a video of some guys that, you know, roped down there. But the walls are really smooth. 
that was the interesting part to me when they were lowering down is looking at that. You know, I was looking for squirrels again for like a drilling or something, or like if it was an, you know, if you had, you know, if people think it was like maybe going into the ground, but was interesting is when how the it came out. So it looked like it could be an air pocket of a gas, you know, where it came out, or how the gr the ground around the rim came out. It, it wasn't like an impact where it was a sudden smash down. It was like maybe coming out. And, you know, the tundra, that Siberia is all that tundra area, you know, and, and you know, that soft ground that's like a marsh after a while. That's just like Alaska, too, you know, up that high. But, yeah, or this in the cities, too, where they have these, these uh, holes that just open up you know, you would think it'd be like a crack, you know, but these things are just straight holes and they're going down 200, 300 feet. That's the the weird shit to me that some of those ones that open up like that, you know, you see those all around the world too, where they're just vent holes. It seems like they're drilling. That's what it almost looks like, but they just go down and it's, well, sometimes it's water as there's no... You know, they look for, you know, maybe like it was a cave system, maybe if it's going either way or something, like, you know, you got a fissure in it or a crack. Because the earth, if, you know, if it's in a fall line area, you're going to have that, you know, some of that stuff. But I don't know, man. Maybe giant ants. Who knows? <laughs> the, the, that Siberia stuff is actually pretty good, too, because just like you said, it's it very, very anomalous. It's uh, I, I don't think, as far as I'm aware, they haven't answered how that happened yet. And, you know, to the best of anybody's idea, everybody just shrugs their shoulders and goes, oh, climate change. But that's literally like, you know, for, for scientists, that's literally the laziest thing you could ever say. Like, give me a reason why. Don't just like shrug your shoulders and go, oh, I don't know. Climate change. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're a scientist for crying out loud. To give, give me a repeatable thing that we could say this is what causes this. Not some generic ass like, a, you know, term like that. It's, just, it's just stupid to me. But yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, so not only that, the weird thing about this one in India that we started talking about tonight to kind of kick off the conversation was uh, that, that there was no seismic activity. So that they were no, none that they could report. So that's the weird part here is that it's like, okay, so people heard the boom. It was enough to like start memes on social media and everybody talking about it in the town of Bangalore or the, the province anyway. And so uh, then, the, then the seismic uh, reporting came in and said, no, nothing. We have nothing to tell you. So again, right? Is it uh, this is part of the problem with government too, and these government agencies? Who knows, right? Maybe, maybe they tested some bomb underground. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit happens, and they probably like like just 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 hear me out for an example. Made a phone call to the seismic guys and said, "Oh, j if, if anybody asked, say nothing happened, right?" And then they do their thing. They blow up a bomb somewhere. Everybody's like, "What the fuck was that?" And then they're like, "Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> we, we we didn't see anything. Did you see anything?" <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like that's part of the problem with uh, some of this stuff is that uh, we can't, uh, we, we you know, uh, transparency from the government. That's really what I'm getting at. It just it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks that we, we have to guess in in weird ways sometimes because they just don't tell us the damn truth. And it could be as simple as oh yeah, we're doing bomb testing underground out there. You know, simple stuff. Yeah, it's it's weird to me though too when they were doing underground nuclear detonation is what was crazy to me because i mean what are they clearing out it's, it's almost like they're doing that to clear it out because when you have a nuclear detonation it's extreme heat and you know it's gonna be melting shit like i don't know man that's it's pretty it's crazy that they would do a nuclear de detonation underneath you know that big anyway that's what used to trip me out about that whole thing like i was like man are they clearing something out or like you know trying to make a big hole underneath there or what but yeah um i, I didn't hear about the one in india though i mean was it was it they're saying it was an aerial uh sound or was it um a, a ground yeah uh, i think it was an aerial sound let's let's go to this real quick let me uh organize these properly okay yeah, so it was an aerial sound. It was in uh, Bangalore, and they said that uh, there was a similar sound like a year ago. So they're actually calling it a, an annual ritual. But uh, so so not only their Air Force uh, said, no, it wasn't us, and then the, the seismic uh, uh, readings also said, no, nothing going on here. So, so I think that's, that's part of it. That's part of, a, part of the who knows what's going on. 
What's up, uh, Gunsmoke? How you doing? Gunsmoke51 says, what's up, dumbs? You're all tripped out. What's up, my friend? You're in the right place. <laughs> You're in the right place. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, talking about weird stuff here in the right place. And it's okay. We, we can take a little criticism. Okay, so uh, so uh, we're going to finish this up, Kelly, but uh, I don't know if you've got to nail it down to, to one thing. I think it's hard here. I think there's because there's so many things. I'm with you. The horns are pretty compelling and uh, interesting to think about because what the hell is really going on with these random horns blaring in the air? And uh, the other stuff like the, the, the bombs, like kind of the pops and the, you know, things like that. That doesn't surprise me too much. Like we have the earth, the, the plates moving around a lot of the time, like you said, all kinds of weird stuff, fracking and just weird shit happening. So that doesn't surprise me. But the, the other stuff like the hums, the, the horns and things like that, that makes me shake my head. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think, I think it's all different. I think it's all different here. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, uh, there's, there's a lot of different ways you can go with it. Like Paul was saying, but yeah, there, you know, it could, it could be, different things you know but for you like for me i uh, the, with the interesting part again is the uh atmospheric uh noises that you know it could be booms or you know or the you know the the horns or whatnot but the horns is uh that one's uh pretty crazy because you know you, if you could if you let's go you know uh, down a tube real quick if, if you know a tunnel real quick but if you let's say um like some of the metal ones, if you if you go on YouTube and look, just sound for the ones for metal, not horns, you know, it's sounding like, but uh, <clears throat> some of those ones, man, I don't know, you could, you know, let's go off a, a little little trip here, though, I mean, let's say, you know, these things have giant cloaks, and you're hearing some of that stuff, like, unfold or open up, or, that, that would be a, that would be a trip, because some of those places, too, that when that happens, you have cloud cover. Yeah, it's. It, I try to notice that too in some of the videos. Is it clear skies or is it, or is it uh, cloud covered? But the original one I ever seen was, I like I said, it was in I believe in the higher Alp mountains or something like that. In one of those countries where we really have a high mountains, but um, it was I, I believe it was a clear day when that was happening because they were looking in the sky. You know, they stopped hiking and they were looking up. You know, you could see the trees and all that stuff, but. You know, they were looking in the sky, and I believe it was a blue sky that time. But most of the other ones, they, you know, you have cloud cover. So, you know, you kind of have to wonder if it's that or, you know, or, or the cloud cover is covering something that's, you know, that's in the sky. Like, you know, who knows? Because back then, again, in ancient history, they talk about, you know, like cities, floating cities in the sky, you know. And maybe that's what they need to... Uh, to hide, I guess, what you could say. But yeah, interesting show tonight, man. I just let you go. I just wanted to give in, you know, my little bit of opinion again. And to everybody out there, happy Independence Day, and I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. Hey, man, brother. You too. You too. Well, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. That's uh, Kelly from Colorado, uh, the very first caller to the show ever. Thanks, bro. We'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day. All right, there you go. Simple as that. We're uh, we're doing our thing and uh, finishing up. We're finishing up. So we're we're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday now on Troubled Minds. And so what we're going to do is uh, we'll we'll do it like this now. I think just so just so we don't burn me out. Uh, we'll go we'll go. Uh, uh, like I said, the third hour is the most challenging because I end up repeating myself sometimes. If we don't get callers, then uh, I'll just uh, end it early. If you guys are going to continue calling and want to give us your takes, we'll just keep taking calls. So we'll play it by ear. If uh, and you know, sometimes some you know, uh, like some people really love this show. I get it. Some people are like really love it sometimes when we're talking about something they're interested in so you know you don't hit a home run every night it's just the way it is so if uh if, if i'm struggling in the third hour and nobody's calling we'll just end it so that's uh just just to let you know we're going to kind of keep that format maybe plan on like an extra 30 minutes each time after we do fringe so instead of three hour shows we'll do two and a half hour shows but uh unless you call so if you guys are super engaged we'll continue going and then uh so plan on four shows instead uh, about two and a half hours instead of three so you're in the end you're actually gaining and uh it's all good it's all good so like i said it's up to you if you guys are interested and want to keep calling we'll just keep doing the show so there you go all right uh as uh, as we finish as we finish what's up uh, gunsmoke 51 i see on restream says uh i saw a ufo over mount soledad in san diego and i, I welcome to the club man i think uh, you're in good company here a lot of people here have seen ufos um and uh, good stuff good stuff uh fred says a uh, good call kelly i agree 100 percent. and yeah yeah 
What's up, NS? A fuck yeah, Mike. A fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We're going to play some outro music. We're going to kill this, and uh, we'll be done. We will be done for the evening. And so tomorrow, we'll have more. Turn that up, turn that down. All right, so tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pacific again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to be doing Troubled Minds. So we'll be back, God willing, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Talking about more weird shit. That's what we do. And so if you guys uh, want to be on the show, as you know, everybody's invited. we got lots of smart people out there that uh, have things to talk about. So, Or if you want to uh, let me know about something to talk about, a topic, then uh, we will uh, we'll do that as well. Just let me know. Join the Discord if you have not. Troubledminds.org. Click the Discord link, and uh, you can be part of the show there. And uh, yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, yep. So uh, like I said, if we had phone calls right now, we'd keep going. So uh, there you go. <laughs> so if you want to complain about the, uh, the shorter shows, call in, right? You like my extortion there? <laughs> you want a longer show? Dial the phone number. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. And then we have Friday and Mondays. We're going to do Trouble Minds News. If you want more of this, we did a new show today at 3 p.m. It's on Twitch. Go to troubledminds.org. Click the Twitch link. Can't miss it. It's up there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. For now, be sure, be strong, be true. Thanks for listening. For our Troubled Minds to yours, we'll see you tomorrow night. God willing, have a great night.